openings. Ha! <laughs> hey, look at us! We're back! We're gonna play The Wild Beyond! We're in the last chapter, they've just gotten to the Palace of Heart's Desire, uh, and I failed to write a recap. So let's talk openly about what happened last time. Uh, it ends where you're about to start a play. Is that where we began? Where we did the play? Did uh, the play. That was the session before last session. We did the play. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Yeah, we were in the cells uh, doing scouting and doing the breakout. The breakout was the last session. Well, first we um, we talked to the hag and Matt. I forgot the name of Sorry, my sick brain is a bit slow. Um, yeah, we spoke to voice. her. Yes. And we made a deal with her um, that was specific in its wording where we would work for her for an infinite amount of time because all time for her was pretty infinite so it's just, might as well <laughs> um but then we broke her stage so it was all null and void <laughs> uh, yeah for as long as the stage still stood yep okay so yeah you were dancing oh yeah i remember that was yeah, the nightmare yeah, yeah. for me you guys were dancing around to break the, the, the thing before it was trying to convince Charmé that it was... No, no, no. Kidrick was convincing her that yeah. it was an illusion. Uh, and then you stole her fucking staff oh. and killed her. Uh, and threw her off the edge. I, okay, I, was, well, well, I thought that may have been what happened. And you threw we're her trying to her. convince her. We yeah. were trying to convince her. Hmm? We also threw Endolin's, uh Flying mount off the edge. <laughs> oh yeah, you I, drove right, it. That's right. Okay, yeah, you crashed her giant plane thing. You threw the staff over the ledge, or do you have the staff? I think Essence might have the staff. Essence has the staff. Do it. Oh right, yeah. I'm gonna smack people with it. She does have the staff. Uh, we also got the unicorn horn, that's which true. we revived the unicorn with. You I'm back. I'm sorry. Rocking chair. Came alive, so now we have Lamorna. Oh, dang it! I stopped there and said I was gonna write a thing for Lamorna showing up. Well, you guys called to Lamorna. Eladon was there, and they got back together. They met. They, you have two unicorns on your side now. You guys, what else happened? You oh, we rescued rescued all the actors and uh, Hurley. Now uh, we rescued the other actor, the other twin. In the cell. Two Celine Dion twins. Yep. Um, and then I guess you arrived at the palace. You guys met some people at the gazebo. You read uh, an inscription in the front that said something about a crown that's kind of ominous right now. What does it say? The lion or the heart must wear the crown. Which one should weigh? Should it weigh down? I don't know what that means. You guys talked to the, the people inside of the gazebo. Some were frozen uh, when everyone else got there and everyone else showed up afterwards. Uh, there's, I don't know, some stuff on the table, food, drinks, whatever, I don't know. If you go back, I'll tell you more about it. Uh, but though, I think it was determined that they are, don't have any helpful information. They're all waiting to talk to Sidona. Uh, but since everything's frozen, they have never been allowed to come up. And we, um, we depetrified two of them. Oh, that is true. You were, like, reading their minds to learn mm -hmm. their names. Is that right? Is my timing better? Yeah, it's way, it's perfect. Okay, good, because I, yeah, I, I got the app to work. I, I deleted and reinstalled, and we're good. Perfect. Nice. Well, cool. Yeah, it's, it totally matches up. Um, well... Was there any other important stuff we missed? I think we ended where it was just 
you guys were going to move on from the gazebo and you were looking around the garden ahead of you as to the, what to screw around with. Yeah, I yeah. think we were talking oh, about... the Chumbo um, flew in to the palace when you arrived. That was another fun fact. From Wait, this didn't fairy it, ring. Didn't it fly out? I thought, flew, I thought you said it flew away. It flew out of this ring of stones in front of us. Yeah, um, you said out. I think it flew, through, flew out of the forest, very possibly. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe you described it wrong, because I definitely pictured like a Chumbawamba flying away from the castle. Like, what the fuck was it doing there? I or maybe I remember it wrong. And into the castle. Yeah. Hunter to burst, I guess it doesn't. It doesn't matter. The, the gist is that he went into the castle. Uh, okay. Flies toward so, the palace. A big dragon, right? Big old green dragon, that's right. Uh, I think our questions were, we found out these guys are basically useless from the questions that we asked them. Uh, I think because Livy and I were the ones talking last from what I remember. I, I was Whoops. considering going over to the left here and um, screwing around in this building, but Livy was saying we should just go straight in to the main palace. So I think that's where we were kind of talking. Okay. Oh, well, I was curious about the spider webby area. That's true. And you were talking about the fairy ring. Or maybe you had already looked at that. Like you guys saw I, the was, yes. symbols on it. Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah. Uh, was it uh, Livy transcribed? Uh, me. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe it... No, Livy transcribed the, um, the ominous uh, crown thing. I did a arcane check or... Yeah, arcane skill check just above to figure out the ring we needed to know the activation word okay what crown thing oh just uh the, Livy. The, the the riddle at the yep. front i see yep okay well um let's just give you a description kind of of the site i mean there's trees and bushes filling the whole place filled with flowers and different colors uh obviously in the center there's that kind of fairy ring teleportation circle you have these two kind of tower built in turrets uh one on the left one on the right both about i think 20 feet up off the ground stairs leading up to the left whereas there aren't stairs on the right um up ahead looks like there's a, a a bridge across a little stream that snakes off from kind of a, a big pond area above the pond there's like dragonflies flying around but they're frozen in air not moving um there's the fountain directly to the left of the the, the bridge why can't i think of that word uh over to the left of that uh wrapped with the river is like a axe in a stump Behind that is like a, a gated in, looks like flower garden with spider webs and shit covering it. Um, and I think that's the gist of what you see. Beyond that is obviously the palace with doors and windows. What's up? Uh, I don't know if it's uh, something you might want to fix with your map or something, but up here at the palace and these windows, I can see straight through and see inside that building. I think we could just see in a window. Yeah, I think that's yeah. fine. There, that's just on. Yeah, that's must fine. be on the same level as us. Yeah. But am I allowed to see those things inside there? Yeah, if you want, if they're in there. Oh, okay. What do you see? You like? I don't know. So like. Far? I see some. Yeah, there's like, those. there's people inside. They're small. I see a vorpal blade. Yeah, there's a, a vorpal big glowing vorpal blade in there. Right. There's well, a, yeah. it's a goblin or something. Goblins just all holding vorpal blades. <laughs> oh god! They're just what they're, all, they're all trying to chop each other's heads off just for. It fun. looks like Ugh. there is a goblin. It is true. Like to be real, uh, there's they a are goblin goblins. on the blue carpet. They sent. They're standing in there. Uh, the two that you see are actually on opposite ends of a sheet with their hands held up. And the street drooping down in between them. Oh, they're probably they're not moving. Petrified too. Okay. They're playing that game you play with dogs, where you like drop the sheet, <laughs> and see the car running away. 
<laughs> but they're both playing it simultaneously, so they don't. <laughs> they're they're playing it to each other. Yeah, forever. <laughs> they run away from the other. Add infinite. So why don't we go? Why don't we go check it? Oh, your VTuber stuff, Louie. That's cool. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Um, All right. Uh, I can't help myself. So... I'm, I'm gonna frolic a little. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, like, tower, we check the stump out, and then we check your um, garden thing out. Do it, like, in order. Because we oh, all got something that we all want to... I'm going to pick up some flowers and throw them in the air. And frolic <laughs> some more. Okay. I'm going to go up to flowers. the tower. You go up to this tower? Okay. Well, let's check with you first. You go up to this tower, and you go up to the door. Do you guys want to come door. with? I'm frolicking. Hey, if it's not intruding, I'd love to come with you. I'd love to have someone come with me in this <laughs> mysterious tower. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. You. <laughs> you open the door, and uh, oak trees fill much of the interior of this tower. Rays of light cut through the canopy, illuminating a marble pedestal that stands at ground level, swathed in tree roots. A hulking lion, seemingly made of iron, stands on the pedestal, flicking its tail in irritation. You can call us envy, it says. Uh, hello, envy. May I enter? Oh, that's that cool. That's exactly what I Ooh. was thinking. <laughs> wow, it's hard to do that accent with a um, bad throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. May I you enter may your domain? You may approach. Oh shit! Okay, hang on. Before we go forward, you got you slept on. Oh, God damn it! Uh, you slept <laughs> on the way here, I assume, right? Uh, oh, in the we tree, right? I think we slept yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah we, yeah, we usually sleep in the tree. Okay. Little oak. That's, that's a funny sentence here. We usually sleep in the tree. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do my long um, rest then. Well, I feel like you would have already done that, right? Or is everyone not long rested? Yeah. Oh, um, no, I just did it just to check. I uh, I look rested. Check my character sheet. Yeah. I... Had uh, you used oh. spells? Or... It doesn't. Oh, whatever. We'll start. I don't remember. I, actually, I don't usually actually, use spells. I have four <laughs> bardic inspirations. Uh, spell slots. I don't even know how to tell. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Use is one of one, four of four, three. I'm all loaded up. Yeah, no, I didn't okay. use anything, I don't think. Okay. I mean, as long as I like, cast Mage Armor on myself, i getting here. <laughs> oh, okay. You cast Mage Armor on? Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, I have I think... 17 armor class. I do have a. Well, and I, maybe I can ask you later, Alex, but I would love some help setting up these spells and shit in my own game. Oh. Oh, sure. Ask you, you know what? I remember what I did do. What you do? I short rested. Uh, so I put my sorcerer points into my first level. So I've got two extra first level spells. That's all I did. Okay. That's but you why haven't, I you hadn't spell. used any spell slots after getting here. Like this guidance no. that I'm looking at. No, because I, I was... Matter. That's a cantrip, yeah. So yep. I was going to use um, uh, languages, uh, read languages, but Livy could read the the thing anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, hang on. Uh, the thing I wanted to touch upon is that you guys had slept on the way here. Uh, you had leveled up. And when after you awoke, you remember a dream that you had, a <clears throat> Ooh. Well, this a is dream. a dream to you again. Oh, shit. Is this something that other people should be knowing? Oh. That's a good point. Maybe I'll just message it to you in a minute. That's okay. Point. You okay. could create just... another voice channel and just drag him in there with you real quick and <laughs> right. bring here. Yeah, yeah. So you, so your viewers can hear. I know, but then it'll reorder all of the video windows and they won't line up with the stream stuff. Oh, so. you can. <laughs> it's okay. You can just mute their mute their headset for a second. You can I do can that deafen, as a. Deafen, yeah. You could deafen them. Okay, yeah. sure. If we want to do no that, cheating. <laughs> so if if, no, uh, I... if the others want to. <laughs> deafen themselves i'll thumbs up when you can come back okay, okay. um goodbye and then you get 
You get three new, I... new viewers for the stream, and you're like, hmm. <laughs> How do I deafen <laughs> myself? Uh, right in uh, your window, probably. There's a little button for the headset down near your name at the bottom left. To, like, mute little microphone and a headset button. If Let's I see. Right click my video yeah. window, I get the option to. You can right click his name and deafen him by yourself. Blaster. Profile call. I can mute him. Do you want me to just. Oh, I can. That I can deafen myself. I see it here. All right. That's deafened. All right. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I oh. was able to do it. Okay. All right. I don't know if it really matters that they don't know. It's not about them per se, but I don't know. Maybe, know. maybe I've got to be evil and sneaky. Well, it'll be interesting for them to be like, "Oh, what?" Um, okay, let me think of the words. So you, <clears throat> you, I guess you wake up, you know, sitting on a, a giant iceberg floating next to your master, uh, and your master's in there, <clears throat> and he's talking like, "For it, for it." Yes, master. I have been watching you. And it seems yeah. that you have been tasked with helping a powerful entity. Is this right? Uh, which one? <laughs> I guess I'm I'm genuinely confused <laughs> which one he's referring to. <laughs> The queen of this land that you're in. Uh, Tasha? Or the hags that own it, Baba Yaga? Tasha. Uh, yes. The one who I have been. her own spells. She has the power of Baba Yaga. If, you, if you're going to help Baba Yaga, then that's good too. But... Look, I need to get free of this fucking iceberg, bro. Okay, well, I owe you a favor, so tell me what you wish. You need to get this lady to, to get me out. You gotta earn yourself a wish, buddy, and you gotta use it for me. Can I earn a wish? Okay, well, like I always say to people that I make promises, like, I can try my best, but you gotta help me out a little bit here, or else, you know, how am I just gonna be like, yo, can I have a wish? I don't know. I mean... Hmm. I mean, I, I could, I can try, but you might be waiting a while. I've been waiting for a long time. Okay, Master. I will try and earn uh, a wish, but I will do it tactfully, because that would look a bit sus if I just walk up and be like, can I have a wish, right? I suppose. Or oh, even a wish. Or right, maybe not a wish, just... I'll ponder on it. Okay, Maybe let me I know. The gun. <laughs> I, I don't know, you're the all-knowing, powerful lord of mine. All hell, all hell. I just hell got so it. excited. I saw you guys rolling up on the palace, and I thought, oh shit, you can get out of here, I bet. Asmodeus doesn't know shit. I bet my bro, as my bro, Foriot, can get me out of this mess. Yeah, I'll I'll try and get you out. I think you should be the ruler of hell anyway. That's right. All nine layers, right? Yeah, and look, my master being the ruler of hell just means that I become more powerful anyway, right? So it's like a win-win. Oh my god, I never think about that. I was asking for freedom, but you're thinking, if you, oh, if I could be the ruler of all the hells, I'd give you one of the layers, buddy. I'd I'd give you one. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. No, I just I don't I don't need something like that just to work underneath you. It'd be all I ever wanted. I'm not I'm not the master guy anyway. I'm just like a be told what to do guy. So I'm happy I'm happy doing what I'm doing. You don't have to worry about me stealing your stuff. Okay. 
but remember, you owe me. I do. I will try and fulfill my wish. All right, buddy. Nice. <laughs> God damn it. I feel like I should have... <laughs> that should have been better. But All right, well, <laughs> dream over. <laughs> I noticed uh, Valian popped in just to check if we're still... It's like, are these guys done yet? <laughs> that was funny. I was just on my phone, <laughs> like, looking up every once in a while. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it's better that everyone didn't hear it, but... I was whatever. frolicking all over the place. <laughs> Were you frolicking? <laughs> uh... All right. So, anyway, sorry. Um... Me here. What? I am stealth in the bush, though. I could oh, see right you. I was still I was I was stealthing while he had that dream, so I heard the whole thing. Just <laughs> right. opened up night, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, did so you suddenly get up, three, I was asleep. <laughs> did you suddenly get three new viewers blast off when you no, started I talking to I don't know, I was paying attention. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, okay, so I was the kidding, in essence, but... head up the stairs to this tower swing the door open uh and it's just like an indoor garden but it, you've got this statue that's now talking to you you ask can you approach he says you may approach yeah, hey guys what you doing up there i'm approaching oh oh that sounds Wait, interesting can, can my friend essence approach sure um i'm gonna go up the stairs all now. all right that looks interesting Approach, I will. Hi, Envy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What why Why are we approaching? I'll look at Kidrick before he enters. I like, you have to ask to enter. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> Can I approach? <laughs> I'm Kidrick. Hey. Hi. Hello, Kidrick. When I see the last of them uh, duck around the corner, I also join them and say, Hello. My name is Valian. I'm Who's saying very that? cool. Ooh, I and this is my brother. I mean, sorry, this is my grandpa. <laughs> this is my brother. I mean, <laughs> my, my brother, brother grandpa. That. I appreciate that, Ooh. Valian. Weird family <laughs> lineage. I didn't I want you to think that I was longer. sneaking. I was. I was. I didn't want you to think I was trying to sneak anybody in here. That you know, like if this is a movie or something. Um, sorry. Anyway, oh, excuse oh, me. Oh, coming through. I'm not sneaking him in like he does. He has a ticket. Do not feel the need to bow before greatness. I'll uh, bow. I'll bend I over and that. tie my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll bow. Wait, why did I just cast oh, God? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, why are you doing that? No, nervous. I'm trying to. Oh, are you talking to me? Well, yeah, as a joke. Well, I th I no, in I... my mind, you were like, you clicked it, and you're like, why am I doing it? Oh my god, I have no control over my hand. I was trying to use my two charges of the one, so I have wild magic ready, but I press anyway. I don't know okay. why it hit. Well, that's, I used, yeah, I, I think you said that last time. So even if the chargers aren't there, I know that that's the case. Okay, so. Essence bows. Kidrick goes to tie his shoe, which I guess is, it looks like a bow at the very least. I give him a deep bow. Bow as well. <clears throat> hmm. You may proceed. With, with, with what? Oh, I don't even what? have shoes. I have hooves. I guess I was dusting <laughs> off my hoof. Why do you enter my domain? <laughs> I think we were just saying hi. Uh, would there be another reason to enter your domain? It's pretty in here. It is quite nice. I'm only it's also the, you in here. And hmm. You're so cool. There's Well, you're in here and you're cool, so... <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean, have you seen yourself? You look amazing. Do I? There's no mirrors or reflections on. I've not seen I make a mirror. Do you? Uh huh. 
Here, um, can can I approach further? Sure. All right. Uh, you guys she'll have pull out my respect with your <laughs> She'll pull out her hand mirror and uh step up to show him the reflection in it. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm a lion. Oh, oh you didn't know long. that. I, I just knew that I was made from the earth. I look good. Wow. He's like looking, he's like getting different angles in the mirror. Dang. <laughs> Do you live or a statue? I thought that I, I thought that Wrath looked better. Is that the heart? Hmm? How do you know? You've met already. No. Oh. I uh, just picked up on some I... clues. There's a sign out front. Oh. Talks cool. about I you. I don't know what he thinks about that. <laughs> Great. Yeah, it, 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 it's just like an advertisement. Like you guys are the main attraction. Where are we? Well, well, so when do you battle well, it out? not be good. We don't. I never really leave my area. So how do you know who gets the crown? Ah, uh, that's not for me to decide. Who decides? Those who have the crown. Do you guys know where the crown is? Hmm. No. No, we, we, we haven't got a crown. have the crown do you know where the crown is we can get the crown maybe i've not been told where it resides just that it exists she created the crown as a key that guests can use to reach certain areas in her absence which is alarming because we don't come alive unless she is absent. Oh. You must transform uh. the crown into its proper form. But to do so, you must place it on the correct guardian's head. Are you the correct guardian? I cannot say. But I can say placing the crown in the incorrect guardian will banish that guardian to its demiplane. And you'll lose the with crown the crown or without the crown? With, uh, with the crown. So you must choose correctly. Is this one of you tells lies and one of you tells the truth type of situation? <laughs> no. No. I always tell the truth. What about the heart? That I can't say. Okay. Is Where is the heart located? In the other tower. But there's only one tower here. No, there's another tower across the way. Oh, like north. Like north, diagonal. east. More east than north. Oh, okay, I see. There's just no walkway up to it, except for going through the building, right? Uh, you might We might be able to see it if we go around the back. Or something. Can we see this walkway up here from before? What are we talking about? Uh, yeah. The walk. Yeah, so that's a, I mean, you can see that walkway is a, okay, yeah, you know what? That's interesting. I bet the stairways are supposed to be higher and you can't see through that window. Because, yeah, that room is on the same level as that walkway and that's 20 feet up from the garden. It doesn't oh. affect anything that you know goblins are in. So there, there might just be a door down below. We could just hour. fly out and pass you guys a rope. Yeah, I don't I think we're stuck. I was going to say, only one of us can fly. Hmm. Well, I, can, I can lift you guys. That just takes me a second. We could also ask the unicorns to, to airlift us. I think they can fly, right? Yeah, there's heaps of ways we can get up there. Um, do you know your master is in trouble? 
must. She's been naughty. She must be. She must be. In, she's in trouble. I mean, I, it could be assumed that she was absent, but what trouble is she in? She is all powerful. She's, her she's sister's been frozen. Been petrified. seems unlikely but ah, I mean we are here nonetheless so something must have happened yeah her sisters well a bunch of hags uh, took over the palace they tricked her and now they rule well at least two out of the three rule the um, Prismere shame has come to the palace you seem like good souls is it true i mean that's that's why we're here trying to uh rescue her so i mean if you can tell us where this crown is we can figure out this puzzle and stuff ourselves but i mean any information you can give us to try and rescue your master would be good Oh, and, and ways not to get killed by the Chumbawamba would be helpful, too. Ah. It's the Chumbawamba. You are scared of the... Okay, that's not questionable. Yes, that is something to be scared of. Okay. Uh, what, was, what was the first thing that was said? Oh, just how to wear the crown is. Unfortunately, Zybilna created us as part of a riddle and did not provide the answers to I or Wrath. The decision is yours. You must find the crown and place it on the correct head. I may not help, but I wish you luck. Maybe it's in this area somewhere. Can you tell us about the Chumbawamba? Hmm. What do you wish to know? Does it have any weaknesses? That is a hard question. Does it get up is if the... it gets knocked down again? It does. It sure does. Dang it. But, hmm. Is it highly attracted to anything that we could use as a distraction or a diversion? I'm trying to help. You must understand that we reside outside the palace. The Chumbawamba lives in the palace with her. All that I know is she would sing to it in the garden sometimes. I like Can you singing. recall the song? That I cannot. Uh, do you know if it's friendly to no. Sibilna's friends? Except Zabiona. Indeed. So why would she keep a, a a friend around that was like gonna kill everyone? You'd have to ask the maiden herself. So did it just fly around murdering people when she ruled or Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It's got to feed, so, does it not? Is is Zybilna more neutral than benevolent? Zybilna. Zybilna tries her best to keep things under control. It's hard to say her true orientation. She has changed quite a lot over the years. It's hard to say which way this hmm. What, Richard? Who, who would you rather have in charge? Zybilna or these old hags? Oh, Zybilna, of course. Okay. 
what are the hags doing? Well, folks, we gotta go murder some people. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, murder. Well, what else you got? Well, I think we need to go find the crown, and then we'll probably come back and talk to you some more. That sounds good. All right. Thank See ya. You for your respect. Goodbye. Uh, damn, I'm I back, off by the way. Them. Sorry. Oh, that's good. Oh, damn it. I keep doing the wrong one. All right. All right. Well, you leave that tower. What are you guys doing? Can I leap across the stream? Sure. Yeah, it's only do like need... five feet. Okay, so I don't even need to do a mirthful leap. I can just jump across. Yeah, I mean, as long as you take 10 feet distance to do it, you can go your strength score, I think, so 12 feet. So, yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, I'm going to look very closely at this axe in the stump without touching it. Okay. Well, it's a gleaming great axe, and it's embedded in a withered tree stump near a bend in the stream. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to touch it a little. Okay. I'm going to poke it. <laughs> okay, great. Looks, It feels like it's in there pretty solid. A big hefty swing got it lodged in this tree stump. It's not wiggling. It's going to take some strength to pull it out of there. So nothing bad happens to me when I touch it? Nothing bad happened to you when you touched it. That's right. Is there any writing on it? No. Well, I'm going to try and pull it out. It's stuck in there. You're not that. You're not strong that it's... <clears throat> no rolling. Guys! I'm yelling. I'm yelling to the guys. Guys! I need a hand. I swear I've heard that riddle before. I'm coming. Just trying to, like, look through my fucking character save stuff. I swear I've heard the lion or the heart thing, like, at the carnival or something. Like, it's like trying to name that movie that you can't think of. But it's, like, on the tip of your tongue. And it's, like, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Because, like, I scrolled back up. And it's, like, the heart is spelt H-A-R-T, which I remember being, like, a thing way back ago, and I just cannot remember where I heard it from. It's what a deer. What was the riddle one more time? It's in the the lion or the heart will wear the crown, but whose head will it weigh down? No, the lion or the heart must wear the crown, but which one should it weigh down? But heart is spelt H-A-R-T, and I remember us having this conversation, like, ages ago, like, what is a H-A-R-T? I and I remember Googling it. Like, what is H-A-R-T compared I to H-E-A-R-T? I think you're right that we've talked about it, but we talked about it last time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. it was last time. Yeah. No, this is, this is like early, early. I can't remember. Like, was it at the carnival where we saw the visions or something? Isn't Tony the one that said it's like a deer? Yeah. I knew well, what I guess... a heart was. Yeah. I think he's just thinking that we talked about it a long time ago. Look, I don't want to stop you, because if you find a connection, I'd love to know about it. But I don't <laughs> think there is. I don't okay. remember anything Maybe from the carnival. I don't remember this either, but I'm not rememberful. So. But I don't want to stop you from thinking about it, because if there's a cool... Uh, well, I, I want to stop thinking about it if it's got nothing to do with the carnival. <laughs> like, okay. I think... In my, in my mind, I'm like scrambling. I'm like, where the frick did I hear this before? But it might just be from last session or something. I don't know. It could be. So but guys, we're, we're the three weakest ones. Should we try and pull this axe out without essence? Or should we wait for I mean, essence? I, I mean, I can do it. I can help. <laughs> well, I mean, just based on the tokens, we'll say every, each of you run up before <laughs> essence gets there trying to pull this thing out. Okay. It's lodged in there. <laughs> pretty pretty solid. All right, everybody grab it all at the same time. And on the count of three, we'll all lift. Am I included in it this time? Or You're here yet? now, so yeah. Oh, okay. All right, all one, two, three, pull. Whoa! It, just, it comes right up out of there. 
It's almost like... It needed the power of friendship. Of course! <laughs> that, <laughs> that was it, you know It's what? an anime! <laughs> We're anime characters. I think it's one of those things where, like, a really strong person carries a thing, and other people walk by, like, touching it, and they're like, yeah, we helped. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this act pulls free from the stump. Oh, and you can um, have it, if you want. Are, are we just... I can't humans? use it. Do, do you want it, Libby? Me? Or Essence? Oh. Oh, well, Marshall me. I mean, another person could use a staff if they wanted. I I could use this. Goodrick, can you use a staff? You seem like a staffy kind of guy. I'm I can give it a try. What does the staff do? Do we know? Mm, yes. It's for whacking. You could... It's for hitting stuff. We identified it, right? Yeah. yeah kind of. Um, it's an it's it's an eldritch staff. Um, you can make a. Oh. We have a warlock. They're eldritch. Mm. Yeah. We have a warlock. So let's just break down what it did for her, and then talk about what it can do for you. So. Yeah, it's an eldritch eldritch staff. You can hit people with it, but then you can invoke its charges to add extra damage on it uh which may just be all that you can do technically she had abilities to use it to turn invisible and teleport i don't know if all, everything should come over or not uh but i'm happy to talk about it well how much of that was integral to her and how much of it was integral to the staff yeah i wanted to be clear the she that he's talking about isn't me it's skyla <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, you know, I right. mean, it says, when Skilla takes damage, she can expend three charges of her Eldritch Staff to do this stuff. So, I think it might be inherent to the Staff. Or, does that not... Were we not supposed to be able to get this Staff? <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> you got it now. Not like a written magical item. It's part of her stat block, right. which is a normal thing for like adventures. Well, sure, I'll carry it. Or if uh, if a Foriat wants it, yeah, I can't use intelligence base. The staff's intelligence, isn't it? I thought we had a conversation about this, and it it works off of your your spellcasting stats, whatever they are, yeah. right? I think it, we we were talking about intelligence because essence that was is not what I was arguing. Mm, oh, okay. Yeah, but um, so it would work off of my charisma if I was to use it. What's the stuff do again? It's like a. A melee weapon that you can you you can expend its charges into to make the damage go up by one d eight lightning damage for every charge you add to it. I think it's got like nine charges. We should lower it down because she used some. And then oh, but you have to hit someone in melee. Oh, so it's a cattle prod. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, kinda. And then the if we agree that you can do the teleport after, away, like a long rest or something. Mm. Oh yeah, if it's got a teleport, I could, I could use it for sure because I can't cast in melee anyway. All right, you know it's the last chapter. Let's just pull out all the stops. Yeah, you can have the teleport part too. Who's going to use it? Well, I don't mind if someone else wants to teleport with it. Otherwise, I I can use it. it doesn't bother me. Someone, some someone take the staff from me so that we can. Keep looking for the crown, okay, guys? One, sure. two, any, mini money mo. Who? Let's give it to a four because right, he's a warlock. Oh, yeah, give okay. it to a four because he's a warlock. <laughs> sure. All right. I'm a real boy now. Yeah. 
You're more arcane than I am, I think. Do you want to say hi real quick, Phoenix? No? <laughs> now you're shy? You wanted to make noise before. Oh, wait, I've got to attune to this. Hi. So it's, I can't use it anyway. Oh, you got to attune to it? Short rest or long rest? I don't know. Oh, I think it's... Oh, yeah. No, I'm playing this right now. I can well, play you with can... you later. I mean, you... You had it while you were sleeping, so we can just say that somebody, this was decided on before, if we want. Or if you don't want to use sure. it, that's fine too. That makes it easy for me, but... Hmm. Sure, I'll, I'll use it. I don't, I don't mind. It's, it's, uh, retconning's up to you, I guess. Oh, look, you're attuned to it already. Oh, wow, you, you attuned to it, and you didn't even know it. LaVistus attuned you to it, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just like stares. I'm like, oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, rat! Do you still want my uh, shield? Because this is a great sword. I mean, axe. You gave me right? your shield. Wait, so it's an axe and a, an axe. It's it's an axe and a great sword. Not a great axe. What? You said it was um, an axe. That has yeah. a, the stat block of a great sword. I don't remember saying great sword. Oh, did you not? I think I said I said it was martial melee, but well, look, it has some stuff. Uh, okay. What do you? I feel like wouldn't you have to identify it to know the special stuff, or have to rest with it? Oh, is it special stuff? I thought it. I thought it was a great sword of gleaming. You said. Is it what? not? No, I did not. Oh, say okay. That. I did not <laughs> say that. <laughs> I, I, Where, who's I, talking to you? <laughs> Someone told me. Little bitch. <laughs> did you describe it? I think you described it as gleaming, and I just filled that in could be. blanks. That could be. <laughs> well, oh well. Well, what a letdown. It's not a gleaming it's... sword. Okay. Or it's, it's gleaming, but not magically. Which I thought I remembered. That was it was just like a sword that sparkles. No, I'm probably thinking of like the the cape of billowing. It's uh, anyway. Okay, I don't got know. it. It's all good. Uh, I don't even know if that's an item. The gleam. I think there's something probably like that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, I can cast identify on it. Oh, do you want to? Um, if we sit for ten minutes, it's no biggie. Oh, that's a ritual, okay. Yeah, ritual caster feet. <laughs> well, what While she think? sits for ten minutes and looks at that axe, yeah, I'm gonna go over here and look over the fence at the statue that looks a lot like me. Okay, so you kind of walk over. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I want a snack. I'm gonna mute for a second because I'm gonna be opening crackers for a three year old. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Richard can't hear us anymore. She might be able no, to hear I us, but hear she you. muted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just can't hear the, oh. the crackers. That's no, awesome. Richard. Oh, there you go. You walk oh, up. You back. You guys can you... hear me, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna mute myself again because for some reason I can't talk when my headset is on. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, Kidrick walks up to this gated area. And yeah, it looks like it's a fragrant rose garden. It's bordered by a bronze fence. The roses come in a variety of colors, with a few white and black specimens among them. Glistening spiderwebs cover the rose bushes. You kind of look through, and you can see in the heart of the rose garden... Uh, oh, never mind. You have to get closer. Whatever. What are you? Uh, okay. What are you doing from the outside? Uh, I'm I mean, gonna break a branch. Best. I see it, but I can't see clearly. I just know that there's that he's there. Whatever is there. Well, you could, okay. I was reading the whole thing, but there's more to it. You you do see a prancing satyr. Uh, it looks like a statue made of stone. Okay. Hard to interrupt. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. I fixed it. I'm the right. There we go. Nice. 
So I'm going to break a branch off of the tree that, like a small branch, like about the, the length of my forearm, off of the tree next to me. I'm going to mm -hmm. throw it at the spider webs to see if any spiders come out. Okay. Kind of curious as to whether those black roses are not roses at all, but spiders hiding. Oh, interesting. Well, you throw a stick in, and you're kind of watching the roses. And they don't seem to move, but you see movement on the ground. Kind of near where you threw the stick, it starts to rumble, and then something starts to dig out from under the ground. Uh, and then this large, like, purple monster with these weird purple pincers stands up like a tall humanoid. Uh, and then another one, and another one. Three emerge from the ground and stand lurking inside of the Rose Garden. I'm gonna wave and say hello! Because they might be friendly. Ooh. He's a chumbly. Uh, okay, well, it definitely hears you and looks immediately, looks over to you at the edge of the fence. I'm going to break off another stick and throw it at him. <laughs> he kisses. He raises his arms. Like in a boo fashion. Can he get past the fence that I'm behind? He hasn't moved. He probably could. I'm going to throw a stick on the ground in a different spot. He, I guess he looks at it. Looks Nothing, back up huh? to you. Hands go up again. He just starts walking slowly towards you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll take a step back. It stops moving. I'll take a step closer again. I'm going to put my hand on the fence. He's like not making eye contact with you. You're like crossing a boundary with him, but he's like a pussy to, to interact with you. <laughs> he's being a puss. He's scared of you, Tony. Yeah, I think he, he is. is. <laughs> Charge him. I'm going to reach across over the fence and try and grab this little bush over here. He's, he steps backwards. Oh, he's a puss. <laughs> he's like, hey, those are my bushes. Well, I'm not going to do anything about it. Behind and behind bushes, like, pops out. He gives you a scratchy motion in the air. Ah! Wait, wait, can't, hey, Kidrick, let's just both cast Mage Hand to start stealing his roses. Oh, sure. I'll cast Mage Hand and pluck a rose. <laughs> I'm going to do the same to start stealing his roses. Oh, my God. He's just looking around. <laughs> He doesn't do know I what have? to do. He's like looking at you. He doesn't want to start a fight with you, but he still wants to seem tough. But like, he's left Aww. in a situation where there's not much he can do anymore. You're just like crossing <laughs> his line and grabbing his flowers and he can't do anything about it. I say, like, don't worry, we'll plant more. See? And I give him, I give him a potato. So I'm like, here, plant one of these and then you can have potato garden oh yeah i would have got another potato from sleeping so that's Not i would have three sleeping, potatoes but from oh, a day passing a new, but yeah a day sure passing. you can have three potatoes that's fine okay so i give him one? him one yeah i i made hand one over to him since he seems super scared okay. i tell him to plant this or don't either. eat it plant it and then you can have many more potatoes Does yeah, it he seem doesn't like it understands you. what just, we're saying? They grab it out of the mage hands, uh, and he goes down to the ground. The other two jump in around them, and they're just trying to pull this potato apart. Uh, once 
they they stop a couple seconds later and come back up, mouths full of potato, just slopping out, uh, and their tongue pushing it around. Uh, uh. Uh, they realize there's no blood in there. Okay. I, what? <laughs> they wanted blood? You wouldn't know that. I added too much detail, but... Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Fuck. Well, uh, obviously they're cowardly, and they're not reacting to gifts. So I'm going to tell Aphoriot to cover his ears, and I'm going to cast Thunderclap. Okay. Oh, I can cast it near them. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, click the damn. Yep. One, two succeed, one fails. What is this? Can't trip? Okay. <laughs> okay. You're killing so him? What is, what is this? Hey, he's attacking them. Oh. I'm but trying to scare him away. Uh, okay, great. Well, um, phew. let me just consult these notes real quick. But they're cute. I'm rash, and I don't think things through. <laughs> we already stole their flowers, <laughs> and now you're going <laughs> to kill them. <laughs> I just wanted to scare them away. It's just a cantrip. It they were already pussies, though. They were already backing off from me. You weren't even doing anything. Well, Wait, are they coming at us now? Yeah. The one. The one oh, man. got hit. Uh, and his eyes just turn red. He looks up at you. And he starts running. To he starts to run towards the thing. All the, uh, towards the gate. Towards you. Although roll an initiative so we know when he does this in relation. How does he know that I did it? Didn't... <laughs> Because you were talking? Because you moved your hands, I guess? Uh, I guess, yeah. I guess I kind of do like a Hulk clap. Bam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it probably is like that. I mean, either way, there's people down there. You guys were interacting mm -hmm. with them, and then how you frightened them or, or attacked them or whatever. Uh, he takes some damage. The other two don't, but they're like in shock. The potatoes are dripping out of their mouth. Uh, and, yeah, they're ready to, to come at you. Oh, God. So we roll initiative? Yeah, roll an initiative, although... Me too? Yeah, you're right there. I don't know about Valiant. Yeah. I mean, Valiant can if he wants, and I guess Essence can if she wants as well. If I'm in the 10 minute process. That's what I thought. If you That's right, continue you are in a 10 minute process. I'm here, I can help. I guess I'll ask, do you need me? No, I'm uh, good. <laughs> No, it's just, right? to, just to reconfirm that Zeus is just still invisible on my shoulder. I'm gonna. I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna call them oh, Dirt okay. Spider Boys. <laughs> he's always, he's always just invisible, sitting on I, my shoulder. I'm definitely being stealthy, so I got a 23 on my stealths, and I'm just sitting right here behind uh, a four yet. So. All right. Now you've got these Dirt Spider Boys here. Dirt spiders. Dirt spiders. Yeah, they're they're big guys, but they are spidery. Like uh, wolf trap spiders or whatever those are called. Trap door or wolf? Trap door. Yeah, no, I was mixing two spider types. Uh, trap door spiders. Except right. not as clever. Spiders are a lot worse in Australia than they are here. Boy, I bet. <laughs> That's what I've heard. I saw a thing that was said that uh, an episode of Peppa the Pig was banned in Australia because in the episode oh, Peppa was no Peppa was afraid of spiders and her parents were like, "Don't worry, spiders can't hurt you. Uh, they're just tiny." And then they banned the episode in Australia because that's not true there. <laughs> right. Oh, that's funny. I saw a clip not to go on a bunch of Peppa Pig talk, but I saw a clip which was like Peppa can't whistle and then calls their friend to see if they can and then like is thrilled that they can't and just hangs up on them like it's the weirdest <laughs> clip i've seen <laughs> anyway all right we're in this this battle let's begin the combat uh valiant roll yourself in 
Oh, of course, the guy you attacked is the first one on the list. Great. All right. Um, second, so. He jump. He runs up towards you. And it's just gonna try to attack you over the fucking fence, over the the uh, fence. Let me Does that mean I have partial cover? Ooh. I feel like you would for a ranged attack, but because he's right there, you wouldn't. But I'm happy to hear an argument against that. That makes well, sense. I just think wait, if you ever get in a fight with somebody across a bar or whatever, there's there's an obstacle there, so it's going to be a disadvantage. I guess so. And I mean, I guess AC in general is not specifically how good your armor is, it's just how good you do about attacking or not. So, alright, I'll give you half cover. A plus two. Okay. Alright. Um, is this like 80s Techno music, video game, <laughs> NES music. Is this coming from this? Yeah, it is coming from this. I'm like, All the music I've okay, used is the great. same guy, but yeah. No, I this, love it. I, it's this great totally music. sounds like Sega Genesis. This totally gives me Sega Genesis vibes. Yeah, I was just like, where is this? Am I playing something and I don't know it? Like, well, if you like this, I, there's a local band called Thorax that like, plays like three different guitars and they're all just like 80s. Uh, video game music. I'm trying uh, to reach out to them to let me use their music for the boss battles, uh, but I haven't done it yet. Anyway, all right. Cool. Uh, cool. What is this? How big is this supposed to be? Okay. Ooh. It's not working. Great. All right. Um, Can I quickly grab a drink? Are right, you guys? Sir? over he just reaches over tries to bite into your face but he misses so he claws at you uh, oh he gets two misses. attacks he gets two attacks buddy all right um so that's his turn he can't do shit valiant we're on you oh i kill him oh, okay i kill him with my bare hand um <laughs> hmm all right, he's engaged with Kidrick, so I'm going to shoot him in the face. Uh, ooh, I'm bleeding, apparently. All right, let's kill, and then how, we'll go. How are you, you know bleeding? I should give him bleeding. a plus two as well. I might have scratched myself, yeah. Are you bleeding in real life? Yeah, I'm bleeding in real life, sorry. Oh, no. Well, I guess I cut myself. Maybe I scratched myself? I don't know. All right, putting, putting pressure on the wound. I died. Yeah, that's um, true. If I have half cover, he has half cover, too. Yep. Snap. All right, here we go. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, a nice yeah. Body, baby. Okay, right over yep, the He's landing a short bow attack right, right into his Critical chest damage. For nine piercing damage and your sneak attack, which is double roll two, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Nope, not bonus. There we go. So. Did I just damage myself? Oh, I think I might have. Okay. I have to apply it, so. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, I'm gonna try that one more time. Here we go. Alright, that's 13. And I get to do that twice, right? Because that. Because it oh, was. That's the, or does it just double? That's just your base damage. 4. 46. What, what did it roll? Right. Hang on. It rolled 46. I think maybe it did do it. I actually it think is, that's what low. What am I looking at? 8 divided by 2 e 6. I don't know why, because my sneak attack at this point should be features. No, I was looking on the character sheet. Here, let me check on D&D &D Beyond. Because I thought sneak attack was 1d6 per level. No, it goes up every other level. Really? That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It is. Okay, so it should be 46, so that's fine. So 46 so I do that is twice, regular. right? Okay, yeah. yeah. 46 oh. is standard, and you get another 46. Jesus, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, 
That's what your um, oh, that's fourteen formula is yeah. doing, Alec. His character level's eight, and it's dividing it by two because it's every other level. Oh, uh, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, well, I'm glad I understand now. All right, well, he's instantly bleeding and oozing and barely able to stand. Uh, he's totally shocked, wide eyes. He's thinking, rethinking his actions. What next? I am going to use my bonus action to stealth once again. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to flip. And I'll do that twice real quick. That's one. All right, I'll take the 16 then. And uh, I don't know if I'm invisible or not, but I am going to try to run over here and hide in this bush right here. Maybe I'm okay, noticed, so maybe I'm over not. the fence. Yeah, and getting I'm gonna go uh, check on my bleeding, so. All right, that, that sounds important. All right. Uh, if so... someone does attack me, I use my first reaction to have it, if in case I'm not back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so right. Zeus is invisible. Uh, I guess he's going. as you said, he, he's always invisible, yeah. Yep, he's just been on my shoulder, walking around with me. Yep. Uh, he's going to use the help action, and I have to describe how he's going to help my next attack. He's going to start whispering to the editor cap, uh, like, yo, over here, and try and distract him. That's, what he's, that's how he's okay. going to try and help. Yeah, for sure. And this guy in the middle. Okay, great. Oh, wait. I wonder if there's something I can fly about. Nope. Doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, great. And that's Zeus's turn. Now it's this other Edder Cat Boy's turn. Um, I guess he runs up through the bushes up towards Kidrick. And... I guess he just starts spitting at you. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, he sucks at spitting. Yeah, he spits right into the fence. <laughs> oh, damn. But his spit is all spider web, so he's like shooting out a stream, psh, like Spider Man, but not out of his wrist, just out of his mouth. Uh, and oh, gross. Kidrick, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. I like this music. Yeah, me too. I'm going to move the combat tracker out of the way of my spell list. Uh, I don't have metal, so I can't use heat metal. Um... Um, I think I'm going to cast Thunderclap again. Okay. There we go. And I'll just cover your ears and I'll do another Hulk clap. Oh, Zeus has got to take a Saving throw. Yeah. Oh no. So he's got to take a saving throw for his invisibility, I think. I or couldn't see him. <laughs> no, just because he's in the middle of the attack. Oh, but his constant is it is invisibility concentration is the question. Uh, invisibility. No. If it's spell, it's concentration. If it's not, it's not. So no, it just has one action. It's an ability. Yeah. Okay, so he doesn't have to roll for that, but for the uh, for the thunderclap, he. Oh does. wait 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 wait! What did he get? Oh, he succeeded. Oh, and it already rolled the advantage, also because of his magical resistance. Great. Wait, it rolled for me? Well, when you rolled for his save, he got advantage on it, which I see was applied. Oh, I didn't. I didn't roll for anything, so that's cool. Oh, I think if you don't roll for it after a minute, it auto-rolls it. So yeah, he succeeded on his save. Uh, 
two Ender Caps no. fail and one succeeds. Let's apply all the damage here. The one standing in front of you just like blows down uh, and dies immediately as you clap in front of him. The, the guy next to him, I think, takes five damage as well. The guy in the back avoids it and so does Suze. Uh, anything else, Kidrick? Um... Can I... I can't disengage as a bonus action, can I? Step back? Uh, unless you have a feature that does that, I don't think you can. No. Um, I think I'm going to risk it with the half cover, though, to back away from the Edder Cap. And just take a step back like that. Give him the attack of opportunity, and let's see what happens. Alright, he, he claws at you as you step away, but misses. Cool. Oh, just above all my heads. Okay, great. Um, let's see. Anything else? Uh, let me see. That thunderclap was what? That's my action. Um, what has it been like? Five minutes from when I came over to the fence. To, so, um, Essence still has probably another five minutes of her. Uh, Okay. So we'll probably be done with them before she's done with that. Um, combat is usually pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, I'm done. Okay, you're done. Oh, for it, we're up. Yep. Uh, I fly thirty feet into the air, straight up, so I can get a better angle on the edit cap. And I shoot the one that Zeus uh, distracted before. Does the help action give advantage on um, like all attacks, or is it just the next just attack? The I can't. I don't know. Okay, so uh, advantage on this ultra. Oh, must target a token. Sorry, I forgot. My bad. Uh, alt. Okay, Eldritch Blast. Oh wait, what's it? Uh, um, advantage attack? Is it hold alt and click it? Uh, yes. Okay, hold alt, click. Whoop, that's the wrong <laughs> ability. You cleaned him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, zapped him. Okay, that's pretty good. You do zap that guy real good. That's a damage fast. Okay, that is Nuts. a question. All of your beams uh, count as one attack, right? Uh, or would you it's hard to say, because I think... It's like... Yeah, I think because I, I get my bonus applied to each beam, but it's the same attack, so it's hard to say. Because they all hit instantly. They're, like, when I cast, like, I can choose multiple targets and they hit at the same time, or I can I'm going to be choosing the same target, so I don't know. Wait, what's the question? Sorry. Whether so, Suze used the help action on the editor cap, and now he's. Oh, it's just the it's just one d twenty roll for the help action. Wait, what? One d twenty roll for the help action. Yes. Oh, the beams are yeah. separate attacks. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, just the first beam. Okay, so normal roll on the second one. Don't hit damage. Okay, sorry. Damage now? Yep. Yep. And then I'm going to use uh, my meta magic. Ha ha ha. Uh, quicken spell. Uh, gain the ability to twist your spells. You gain two of. Oh, blah blah blah. When you cast a spell that has a casting time of one action, you can spend two sorcery points to change the casting time to one bonus action for this casting. Yep. Oh. You're so I think I have. I think I have to do that beforehand. Oh, it doesn't matter, right? I don't think it matters. Okay, so I use two sorcery points. Uh, so I delete those. So I've got one left. And I Eldritch Blast again. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, it's a crit. 
Okay. Uh, and a mech, uh, an arrow just popped up on my screen, so I'm not sure what that was, but... I don't know. You do 16 force damage, though. And one more beam. My lord. He's poor Spider-Man. Yeah, I didn't want to kill him. Well, they're no ugly dirt spider boys. Telling me a different story. <laughs> he attacked us. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Uh, well, he's dead now. You blast right through his head. He falls limp at the gate. There's one editor cap left. Has no damage on it. Is looking to his two friends. Is looking around. That was your turn. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, look, it says that if any one of them gets down below a certain threshold, they try to run, but I think that you guys getting his friends down to that threshold, uh, he casts Spider Climb on himself, uh, just climbs over this, walks straight up this wall over here, and runs out of the palace, escaping from this psychopath, blasting him to play. Jumps. Jumps off the edge. Whee! <laughs> Oh, he right, could probably well, climb down the side. He's spider yeah, boy. Yeah, he's just walking down the side. But you can imagine he fell to his death. <laughs> All right. Well, the garden is now cleared of giant spider boys. Uh, now you just have a Valiant and a Suze in there. All right. I'm going to loot the bodies. They have anything interesting on yeah, them? Yeah, what do these spider men have on them? You know, they've got their web shooters attached in their throat. Uh, I mean, they really don't have anything on them. They're just big old animals. They got their bite attack and their claws. You These could, are edder caps, right? That's what they're yeah, called? Yeah, you want to you wanna carve out their their uh, web sacks or something? Doing, Virgo? No. Okay. No. That's not interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have nothing on their body. Maybe what if I was this? a ranger, I would do that, but no. I'm a bard. Before it, what's this note about? Oh, I just didn't want to interrupt you guys. I'm just converting my spells oh, back into my source. Okay, gotcha. yeah, yeah. It cost right. me a bonus action. I'm doing it outside of combat. All right, so I will climb over the spider, and I will walk up to the statue and brush any webs that get on me off of me. So in the heart of the Rose Garden, coiled around the statue of the prancing satyr holding a set of pipes to his lips, is a thorny vine with five roses growing out of it, each one a different color, black, blue, green, red, and white. I have been alleviated of babysitting the three-year-old now. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> There's no one else in the house, so they're like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were very nice about it earlier. You were just like, I'm sorry, I'm playing this game right now. I can't do that. <laughs> to the very understanding and logical three-year-old. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the children are the most. That's all I mean. <laughs> I hate every single one of them. Well, you know what? Let's, in ten minutes. <laughs> let's touch base with essence figuring this out and then come back to the rose Ooh, garden that's nice so essence finishes focusing identify on this axe that was pulled out of the stump uh and it's revealed that it's a plus one magical weapon but also oh that's handy when you use this axe to make an attack against a plant ordinary plant or a creature <laughs> with a plant type or a wooden object that isn't being worn or carrier, carried, the attack deals an extra 2d6 slashing damage on a hit. Ooh. Oh, I know. You can make Little Oak do exactly what you want Little Oak to do. Oh. <laughs> that 
That is a very dark idea that I had not <laughs> considered. Um, but we, we know a plant we can threaten. <laughs> <laughs> we know two, because we also know um, <laughs> the dandelion. Um, oh, right. <laughs> I have a mushroom friend. Oh, are mushrooms plant? M yeah, mushrooms. No, they're actually not. I guess they're uh, no? not. They're myconids. Yeah. yeah. They're completely different. I don't know if D and D. I I I don't know if D and D uh puts my because it it is a like um right. the they're like Mike. Yeah. I wonder if yeah, no, the, there is no mushroom subtype. They're definitely. You so think they're plants? plants? They could yeah. be monstros <laughs> monstrosities. I don't know. I'd... I'd let you attack a mushroom. I mean, but it's the nicest mushroom, so I don't know if you want to. Oh, no, we can't attack that mushroom. No, he gives no. the best kisses. <laughs> That's <laughs> Except his oh. name is some... Um... <laughs> Questionable. But not in this world. No, whatever. All right. John Will Booth. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So back in the Rose Garden, you've approached the statue sitting there and there's this vine wrapped up with different colored roses growing from it. Hey, Aphoria, this looks like a puzzle. Oh, sorry. So it does my Eldritch stuff. It looks like a puzzle. <laughs> no, not your Eldritch staff. The, the roses. Look, there's five different colored roses wrapped around this statue. Uh. Is there any writing anywhere on the statue? Can I touch the statue reaching past the rose thorns without touching the rose thorns? Sure. Yeah, they're just at its feet. You can touch the statue. It's kind of rough, like a rock. Does it look like it's another petrified living creature like the uh, ones that we depetrified? Or were they just frozen standing still? Um... I'd have to double check. I think, okay, so I know that down at the pavilion there was a guy who was petrified, but he right. the other ones was were alive. just frozen. Yeah. And the other ones were frozen still. So mm -hmm. this guy is both, I guess. Or He's or petrified. We don't know if he's alive or not. Right. Or just a good sculpture. Right. Alex, do you mind if I edit my stuff to match the description? Ah, uh, because the attack bonus is only plus one, and it says on the staff um, sheet it's plus two. Yeah, that's why I asked you if I could use strength with it, because it was hard coded. It's hard coded to use um intelligence. Right. Yeah, like the wording on it is talking about what the other person had. I mean, it mm -hmm. looks like technically no. yours is better. It's a plus four for you. Uh, so it says that the staff is a magical plus one, then that's just adding my proficiency, so it's not even adding my deck strength or yeah. charisma to it. It would actually probably be like a plus nine to hit for him. Okay. Well, yeah, if you already had something in mind where you're going to edit it, then do it. Okay. So it's just a plus one magical staff regardless, right? And then it's using... Uh, dex or charisma or strength what's the main ability because I can I can fix it up to match the description it's just you tell me what it's using because I think I mean I think if we're being true to it it should be your spellcasting ability right because that's how it was for her yeah so it might be... I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter anyway because I can choose to use Charisma for my um, attacks regardless. I see. With he so you with should just set for. it to Charisma anyway so you yeah. can charisma. use it. Ability modifier, damage formula, plus at mod. I think this is going to work. Sorry, I didn't mean to slow this. I, I could fix it up if you... Okay, 
Because I'm trying to take the vers versatile away too, because I'm never gonna... I'm using game. a shield. Does that seem right? Because it's got your charisma, your proficiency, yep. the plus one. Yep. And then it's a 1d6 plus charisma plus one damage. Sorry, I did not mean to stop okay. the... I mean, it's I, best I, to I, fix things and just not have to deal with it when you want to use it and slow that down. All right. I think it's fixed. We'll touch base with it later. Uh, sorry, okay, what was happening? Cool. You guys were looking at these roses. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look around at the bushes around and see if the orientation of the roses on the vines match up with the orientation of the roses on any of the bushes. Placement-wise. No. Um... No, you're not seeing any kind of pattern, per se. I mean, the roses that are growing on this vine seem more iridescent than the other roses. The other ones are kind of droopy or opaque, whereas these kind of glow and flitter with color. Um, I'm going to hum at the roses and see if they react to sound. Nope. I'm going Hello, to... the roses. What'd you say? What color are the roses? Are they all the same? Black, no, there's... Blue, green, red, and white. Uh, are any of the other roses that are like, you said droopy, like I guess normal roses, are they the same colors as these? Not really. I mean, kind of similar, like maybe there's red roses out here and this there's a red one here, but the red one here is like bright and neon almost and kind of shifts with color i'm going to take out one of my uh crossbow bolts and touch one of the roses with the tip of the crossbow bolt just to see if it does anything okay nothing happens to your crossbow bolt Stay what happens back. to the rose nothing happens to the rose hmm. i'm gonna smell a rose I'm gonna bite. What'd you say? You're gonna bite it? No. Right, <laughs> smell the rose. Oh, they smell like ooh ooh ooh. They smell good. And that's it. They just smell good. They just smell good. Yeah. Mm. I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna fix my stuff. Let you guys do that so I don't slow the rest of it down. What's broken about it? The damage? Oh, the it's just a damage. Yeah, it's a, uh, I can fix it. It's alright. I'll, I'll play around with it. Oh, and when you get there a chance, go. Alex, Thanks. just take take my half cover away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Staff is fixed. All working. Alright, so you're just messing around with these roses. You're like, they're not trustworthy. This rose is going to fuck me up. Uh, and you're poking at it, you're smelling at it, uh, but it hasn't sprayed any water or let anything on fire. It didn't turn your your arrow to gold or anything. Are they? You said they're planted. I'm focusing now. Sorry. You said they're planted around the statue. They're growing out of a vine that wraps around the statue. And they all grow okay. out of the same vine. Yeah. What's the statue look like? Uh, Me. It's a satyr. The satyr playing a flute has like a wine skin on his side. He's just playing his, his little. Oh, it's not a flute, it's a, a pipes. We need to a wake wine. him up. He's got a wine. wine skin. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you say wine or lion skin? Wine. wine. Skin. Oh, wine. I heard lion skin and I'm like, oh, we know a lion. <laughs> no, he's got wine. We need to un stone him so that we can share some wine oh, you reckon he's a petrified dude that's the feeling that I would like to be the truth because he's got wine I guess we can try I don't know how though there's probably a puzzle with the roses maybe we need to go someplace else and find clues because I don't see any here uh, I'm going to explore the rest of the garden and see if I see any clues okay 
Yeah, we gotta... If he's a petrified dude, we need his name. Uh, so maybe we should look for clues if there's a name around the place or something. Yeah. I guess give me an investigation check to look around the, the garden. Uh, all of us, or...? No, just... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Don't even bother rolling. <laughs> I just figured... Never mind. <laughs> you figured that you'd have some leeway? <laughs> well, mm, I figured, like, it's fine. He won't roll a 20. <laughs> this will be fine. Uh, this is what happened last time with the other petrified guys. <laughs> look, te technically, technically, no. There's no notes about any kind of clue that tells you anything. So I think after looking around, you can confidently say... Maybe there's not a riddle. Hmm. Okay. Now I have no idea what these roses are for. Um. All right. Short attention span. I'm done. I'm going over here now. All right. Um. Yeah. Should we just we'll worry about taking him the flowers? Taking, yeah, we could take the. You want to take flowers? I was. We could. We could just like move away and may, mage hand see if something happens. You I mean, if we can't, that? we could. We could bring the unicorn over and just get him to whack him with his horn. Maybe I don't know, but we need a name. Maybe he's just a statue. I don't know if he's a we don't know. guy. Do you want to pick a pick a rose? I'm just. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's what we're kind of doing. Before we killed these guys, right? We're just stealing their roses, so. Yeah. These ones, these ones look better than the ones that we got. Well, that was we were specifically just messing with the the spider boys at that point. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Until you started killing them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I stand back. Uh, what's the range of mage hand? Uh, mage hand. Yeah, thirty feet. Okay, I stand thirty feet away. And I mage hand. Oh, I take cover behind the um, behind the wall. <laughs> I say, everyone, get back. Okay. And what color rose are you picking? Uh, which one, guys? Maybe the white one. Pick the white one. Okay. Nah. I do the I do the white one because it may be the less threatening out of all the colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You pluck the white one off. It still gleams with its white color kind of shimmering as your mage hand holds, holds it there in the air. Okay. I bring it over and I say, Hey Zeus, be a pal, my yeah. friend, and pick this rose up for me. Oh, master for me? Oh, this is so sweet. You are so yeah. sweet. Oh, thank you. Uh, he jumps up and grabs it. As soon as he grabs onto it, uh, all the petals start to freeze over and become covered in frost. What did I do? Uh, oh. oh, shit. <laughs> uh, what's happening to him? Is he, like, frozen? Frozen? No, or? he's fine. It's the rose cold, is frozen? Master. Is this a joke? It's cold. What did you do? <laughs> I just grabbed it. I don't, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Maybe he should hold it by the stem. Is the rose still there, or did it disappear yeah, once he got frozen? Yeah, it's still there. It's still in his hand. It's just all frosted over, like a fresh uh -huh. winter morning. Hmm. Can I? It touches touch Zeus's skin. Does he feel cold? No, Zeus feels fine. <laughs> Master, don't tickle me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're supposed to be evil, Master. You're t treating me too nice. <laughs> Maybe we just um. Do you want me to stop take on the it? rest of the? No, the don't stop the on roses. It. Yeah, I, I say, here, Zeus, pass me the rose, please. Yeah, and I, go, Master. Yes. Take the rose. Take the cold flower. Right, I'll I'll, I'll pick the black one with Mage Hand. Okay. Yeah, you pick it. Black. Going for some opposite. Wait and 
Uh, I'm going to touch the rose petals to a dead edder cap. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Like the, what happens when I touch the rose? What happens I'll touch them. When I touch the rose that Zeus passed. Uh, same thing. I mean, during you nothing. pass it, during the passing it, probably some of the frost maybe melts or something. But yeah, you touch it, you hold it. It's frozen. What were you saying, Kidrick? I'm going to touch the black rose to uh, some of the leaves on the bush next to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Hmm. All right, I'll touch it with my finger. Okay. Um, nothing happens? This one's broken, guys. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, I yeah. Why, why, don't you, touch. why don't you try holding it? Sure. I'll, I'll hold all the flowers. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before <laughs> Zeus takes it, like, I've taken the rose from him, so, like, what happens there? You've taken it from him, and it enters yeah. your hands. And it like melts a little bit before it gets to you, but it freezes back up. So I'm frozen now. No, just the flower. Oh, wait. So was Zeus frozen before? No. No, just the flower. Oh my god. Okay, I I imagined Zeus being frozen. That's why I touched his skin. I'm sorry. I don't know well, why I knew I'm. You were trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But no, to be clear, okay. nothing happened to you or Zeus. Huh. Okay, maybe they're just like things we can use somehow. Maybe it's part of like the crown or something. That's what I was thinking too. Maybe they are parts of the crown. Um. Well, let Zeus hold the black rose and see what happens. <laughs> Zeus, take the hold the black heart rose. <laughs> you know, I bet it's my my cold, cold heart that froze that rose. I bet. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see. He grabs the the black rose from Kidrick's mage hand uh, and the rose starts to like, something starts to ooze from the tip of the rose and pour out over the side it's green and I guess sticky it's dripping, it's just dripping over the side of the rose Christ. I broke it uh, uh, no, you can we it. tell what it is? It, it, it's two words here to describe this, and I feel like I need some more explanation after this, but, uh, sorry, what was your question? Can we figure out what the, um... What the green stuff like is. The, sure, what kind is of it check? green? Yeah, it's like is it green stuff green or is it black liquid. stuff? It's green liquid. From green the black rose, okay. Liquid. Like okay. snot? Oh, ow. It's kind of... Tingly. Am I supposed to get um, this on my fingers? That might be acid. <laughs> oh, is that bad? Maybe, is it acid? maybe put the rose on the ground. Okay, I broke this one, guys. I'm so sorry. My gold heart just... He sets it down on the ground, and the acid stops dripping out. I mean, the stuff starts dripping out of it. Yeah. Okay. So the roses do stuff. Oh, maybe they're for like different elements. Like you said, the white was the cold and the black. I mean, you guessed acid. it looks like acid, which we haven't confirmed it. What other colors are there? There's red. So maybe fire. fire? What was the other ones? Red, green. Is there a green one? Yeah. Blue. Water. <laughs> Water. So why don't we pick the the blue one and the red one at the same time? Yeah, okay. Uh, I hand the blue one. We and just I'll start the red one. On the ground next to Zeus. You, I, you see want me to break all of them? I would no, 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 pick the red them. one and the blue one at the same time, so that if it, there's a fire, you can put it out. Okay. Okay. You know, I'm picking. Zeus, up. just. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Okay. Oh, okay. 
I think they <laughs> react to demon stuff. They must. I'm. Oh, yeah. I'm. I think I'm magic, and I just have never touched a flower before. I think this is just what happens when I touch flowers. Maybe. Well, let's see. Let's see how they extend to my powers. Okay. Uh, he goes over. He picks. He grabs. He puts his hands around the blue and the red one and plucks them at the same time. Uh, the blue one starts to crackle with lightning around it, and the red Ooh. one, whoosh, lights up with fire. Although I'll, I'll say blue that, like the the acid, it's not actually damaging Zeus, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's pick the green one. All right. He says, so down. We he put the up. other ones next to the pile. Yeah. Yeah. You see, kind of pile them up on the ground next to Zeus. Uh, he pulls the green one, uh, and from its petals starts to <laughs> like a stinky gas starts to emanate out of it. Ooh. Oh. Okay. It farted. So they are different elements, but they're not what we thought. Because I thought green might be like earth or something. Well, they all seem to be defensive, though. So maybe either... Uh, Wait, defensive? Either imprisoning or protecting that statue. Oh, yeah. Does the statue move? No. Is so the vine still there? The others who haven't talked. If there's anything... Any input from Valiant or Essence? I'm sorry, I was away until just a moment ago, so oh, okay. I do not know what's going on. I apologize. Did you Maybe stop bleeding? Boys room. Uh, yeah, I stopped bleeding a little, bleeding a little earlier, and uh, oh, good. I got a brownie, so oh heck, apparently I got that was my reward. So, Whoop. anything from Essence? I just want to make sure to pass the stick. Okay. She's muted. Oh. She may be child wrangling. That could be probably wrangling. All right. Well, no worries. I did my due diligence to check. All right. You guys continue. Um, does it look like Eddie. new flowers are going to grow out of that vine? That, oh, that I forgot. You pune? plucked the last one. As soon as the last one was plucked, the vine shrivels up and dies. Oh. oh, maybe the guy can get freed now? Now we definitely broke it. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm going to walk back over there and touch the statue again. Yeah, he's, he's rock. He's very, very uh, stony. He's stoned. Okay. I mean, this is kind of metagaming, but because you're saying he kind of makes me think that it is a it petrified is. person now. But obviously, I wouldn't know that in game. I think I'm just responding to whatever you guys say. I feel like you guys are calling it a him or it. I, maybe I'm just blaming. Oh, him. I, whatever. Well, does I he just, have a I does just, it have a beard? Does it have a beard? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Does it have it's, like um in, something in under the vines? In mythology, satyrs are men only because they're the female ones are dryads or hamadryads or something like that. But in D and D, satyrs can be either. Okay. So that's why I was I was saying him, but that was uh, oh, potentially right. misgendering. Well, that wasn't what I was worried about. But yeah, it's good, good to think about. Uh, no, I don't think there's a beard on this this rock figure. Okay. It makes, I mean, this is metagaming as well, but it makes me think it's just a statue because it's like on the map as a statue, so I don't know. Yeah, it could just be a statue. Maybe we're reading too much into this, but those those roses are pretty interesting. Let's leave them there. Yeah, do you want me to like gather them up and put them in a put them in my sack? I can wrap oh, them in some cloth. If you can do that safely without hurting yourself, yeah. I'm just going to... I mean, I touched the cold. I touched the cold flare and it didn't hurt me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch the black flare and just see if I get hurt. Maybe it was Zeus's magical thing, but you reach down to touch it. You pick it up. Well, if you touch it, nothing. You pick it up. 
it starts to ooze the acid again. But no, it doesn't really hurt you. But okay. Just maybe he expected it to hurt or something. I don't know. But no, it's not mm. actually burning you. But there is acid on my hand. It seems like it. Yeah, I walk over to um Kidrick and be like, here, can I just drop a drop of this acid on your hand just to see if it's So I'll put my hand out. I just drop like a little bit of acid on his hand. Do I feel anything? Maybe. Um, this is what I wanted to know. Because I had an idea, and I'm like, this will tell me whether my idea is correct or not. All right, I'm going to close my eyes and put out both of my hands. Mm -hmm. And then you can drop acid on one of them. I'll wipe off my hands on my pants first. No. Drop acid on one of them, and let's see if I can tell which one it is. I think mm -hmm. I know what Blast is trying to decide right now, and this is why I was testing it. What, what do you think I'm trying to decide? I think that these are possibly giving us resistant to the element. That's why I can feel the acid, but it's not hurting. And that's why I wanted to test if it was a resistance thing by dropping it on his hand, who's currently not holding it. Right, you see, I was thinking it might be an illusion. Pardon? You, you both talked. Okay. I was thinking uh, it might be an illusion. That's, uh, and you both have li listed the problems that I'm dealing with right now. And hopefully, okay, 16 is high enough. Uh, yeah. You know what? You might be right, Euphoria. So he definitely feels it if I drop it on his hand, right? Well. Like I didn't. Look, the, out of game, the line that we need to draw here is that this thing isn't capable of harming people but yes for the sake of what you're trying to figure out okay so it is so it's like a, so you're saying that it's like it's not it's not supposed to like make acid appear or anything it's like a it is a resistance thing but for me to figure that out like a dropping a tiny bit of acid would let me know that that's correct no it's I mean, kind of. It, it is an illusion. Like, it, it is supposed to, when you hold it, it's supposed to have this visual effect on it. Like it's going to burn you. Yeah, like, and but it doesn't. Um, and you're, I mean, you're just looking over the magical evidence. I mean, you may need some sort of spell, a detect magic and identify something to know more about it. But... You're kind of on the right lines. Yeah, like it's oozing this acid, it's doing this stuff, but you're holding it and it's not affecting you. But I'll say you drip the acid on Kidrick's hands and he can't feel it. Well, if he can't feel it, then I would say, okay, it it wouldn't seem to me like it would be a resistance thing because that would scratch my theory. Like if I dropped a drop of acid on his hand and he was like, oh, okay, that hurts me i'd be like okay well i've got resistance holding this acid so that scratches i i okay. my character would believe that my theory is moot for that so i think that it's probably not going to burn through your bag so you can put them all in your bag yeah let's do that just chuck them in there with the potato sack i don't know what they're for then i know you told me outside of game but me testing in game i would think I that you. not resistance I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, I do that stuff to test, and I don't want to metagame stuff. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay, well. Uh, I guess you scoop all these rosebuds into your bag with your potatoes. And you guys move on as you will. I'm going to go look at the fountain. Are you back, Livy? Wait, this is a fountain? Yeah, it's a, I believe it so. I, either, either it's a fountain or it's R2-D2. <laughs> uh, oh, Libby is back. She's just <laughs> muted today. Well, I've been here. <laughs> okay. Oh, have you? I, I just keep times having them. Say... Oh, really? Sorry, I, I keep yeah. muting because I'm still coughing a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to listen, though. 
We thought you were wrangling a child. Yeah. No, yeah. no, not with child anymore. Just myself and my throat. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's tough. Uh, okay. Hope you feel better. Anyway, um... Yeah, I was trying to wait until you guys were done with the flowers and stuff because I wanted to check out um the... I was excited about the lake. But oh, I didn't okay. even think okay. to check out the fountain. Well, fountain's on the way to the lake. What did you... I was trying to check. Would you have had any input about the flowers? Or that would have been totally done. Oh, no, no, no. I... No. Okay. You don't want to spend ten minutes identifying a flower. Um... No, they, they they seem like nice flowers, though. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> it, just, it makes me think it's got something to do with the crown or something. I'm just gathering shit up, you know. Sure, yeah, you got it with you. So you guys start heading. I think over. it's just a magical garden. I don't. I don't think the flowers. Huh. Well, did you hear oh, what, the testing that Aphoria was trying to do? Um, not specifically. No, I don't think I did. Okay. What, what were you testing? We did a blind test to see if the flowers actually did any damage. So I closed my eyes and had him put acid on my hands and I couldn't feel it. Oh. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, mostly you were focusing on the, the axe during a lot of that. Um, so yeah, anyway. Okay. So you guys start heading, uh, Essence starts heading towards the pond. Uh, and you guys see this fountain on the way there on the long side of the river. Actually, sorry, let me switch back. To garden theme. All right, uh, so you guys start passing this marble fountain. It rises from a plinth on the bank of the stream, overflowing with time-frozen water that spills from the mouths of sculpted animals. The frozen spray surrounding the fountain creates rainbows in the air around it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's frozen. It seems like a lot of things are frozen. <laughs> yep. <sighs> it's interesting, okay. but not exciting. Do you want to go look at the lake? You said it's got a bee symbol above it or something? Animal symbol? What do you say? There's there's beasts like beast gargoyles like spewing mm. the water out into the fountain. Oh, cool. Now the water uh, the is water it... kind of moves, but like slowly, like dough. Is there a lion on the oh. on the no. fountain? Can I grab some of the water like clay? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you scoop it up. Yeah, it's like a lump. It's almost like. Non-Euclidean fluid, is that the word? Non-Newtonian fluid, like uh, the cornstarch in water. Uh-huh. You get a lump of it and it starts to ooze out through your fingers. I'm going to taste it. Here. Oh, yeah? Okay, yep. Give me an intelligence saving throw, bud. What? <laughs> a what saving throw? An intelligence. No. Intelligence? <laughs> Those are the worst ones. <laughs> See ya. Oh, no. Bye. No one in D&D &D is that smart. Oh, oh no! no. no. See you later, dude. I hope not you got that you, character. Okay, you know what? I might send you this, and then you can explain what happens to you to everyone. Okay. What happens when you go around eating random shit? <laughs> so yeah, you don't pick stuff up off the ground. It's water. Especially, How can it be? Especially water that acts like clay. Fuck that. Yeah, you know, I was like, it? I wouldn't want to slurp down. I like, think it's it's because it's frozen. It I'm just water. tasting it. It's like lick, you lick snow, you know. I wonder if all the water is like that here. Oh crap! Don't read that yet. Don't read it. I didn't see it. Okay. You also <laughs> shouldn't lick snow, by the way. <laughs> it's definitely ice or formed around dirt and dust from the air. Well, I live in Florida now, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But I, I know it's it snows sometimes <laughs> in Central Florida. Every bit of snow is just a piece of dirt grown. grown yeah. Dirt. All right. So, yeah, I sent you in Discord. Oh, message. okay. Although I guess I could private message you in Foundry. Well, let's see. Oh, 
What else is there in this garden before we go up to, like the stairs? Oh, oh there's for... the pond. There's. Oh wow. I guess that might be it. <laughs> I know, right? All right, so, a... so uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go frolic again. And, okay. and maybe just poop in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just immediately stop talking to you guys and frolics off through. <laughs> what? Takes a, takes a dump in the grass. Go poops in the grass? Why? That, that's what it says in the mod. You go poop in the grass. <laughs> and I just sent it to him. <laughs> that's not really what it says. I'm going to go over to this tree and sniff around the tree and scratch it with my horns. Okay. Are you like on all fours? Yeah, I'm on all fours. Uh, okay. Well, he's doing that. The you said the pond is the only is a pond actually a thing of interest or would I even pay attention to that? Maybe. I mean, Essence is interested in it. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know, Libby. Let's go check out the pond while he goes poops in the grass. Uh. I'm gonna chew on the bark. You of take the tree. you take the lead. Oh, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> are you talking? Oh, is letting them be that bad? You guys want to go swimming? <laughs> he just starts uh, no. being weird, and you guys are like, "Let's <laughs> go look at the pond." We'll, we'll go no, this, 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 this uh, water just made him poop in I'm, the grass. I don't think you really want to swim in it. Yeah, I. I mean, I wanted to look at the pond since I mean it's. Uh, did you know that Kidrick and I, we met, uh, at a pond? There was, there was a swan lady and a mermaid, and... Oh, that, I remember that's, the swan lady. Yeah, that, uh, but I guess he's occupied chewing trees. Pooping. Pooping Poopin'. and scratching the trees. Yeah, he's, like, lost all inhibition. He's just... Taking a just wandering around. I'm gonna yeah. eat some of these flowers. Hey, come swim in this uh, lake. Come swim over here, buddy. Uh, you you're already suffering from weird behavior. Maybe this will cure you if you drink I, some of it. I don't really appear to be listening to you at all. I don't think I'll look at you. Maybe we should just dunk him in it. Maybe this is like a fountain of youth or whatever kind of thing. You know, <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. I mean, acting like a child. Yeah. Should we eat him into the water? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Him... I'm gonna go grab him and try to push him into the like. Hey, buddy, come on! I like put my hand on his shoulder. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna startle and and <gasps> run away. Oh, that's the wrong direction, buddy. Wait, startle? I'm gonna. I'm gonna like gonna scared, like. No. I'm gonna try and get his attention. And then, I, like a dog, I'm gonna run the opposite direction in the hopes that they chase me. So, oh yeah, I'm like, I'm come chasing. here, Kidrick, come here, buddy. You're doing great, boy. Are you I just run towards. I run towards the lake. Oh, uh, did him. he? Did he turn into a beast? Is that why there's like beast things on the fountain, and now he's really dumb? Oh, he's like just pooping gargoyles. in the woods. Yeah, but there's like beast symbols and shit all over it. I and he had to make down. Oh, sorry. Intelligence saving throw. So he's just I'm gone gonna, really stupid because he's failed I'm it. I'm gonna like clap my hands. Come here, buddy. And I'm gonna like put my hands out like they're in front of me. Like I'm looking for a dog. Like I'm waiting for a dog. I'll walk up. over and I'll touch his hands with my hands. I am going to attempt to grab his hands. Like, I'm going to grapple him in order to push him in the water. <laughs> okay. I guess do a grapple check, so... Strength? Uh, yeah. Athletic? Or athletics against his athletics or acrobatics. Or Ooh, I got nothing, so... Uh... Oh, that's going to oh, do it. Well, but... That's 18. <laughs> okay, are you resisting? Okay, Derek. Is he able to grab? Oh, 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 away. Alright. Uh... So I'm... Ride the way, and I run. And I give up. I tried, guys. I turned to the rest of the group. I tried. Uh, it's right, too I... smart for me. 
<laughs> I fly over uh, from above. <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't. Is he like grazing or pooping in the woods again? I'm smelling the poop that I made. <laughs> okay. Can I can I like glide in from above him so I'm like out of view? Give me a stealth. Okay. We'll I don't know if this look at your does anything. Perception. Oh, you have disadvantage because of your armor. So no, you're climbing oh. around as you fly above him. He totally knows where you're at. All right, I'm still gonna grab him. All right, try to grab him. I guess. Is the rest Wait, of I could. Session just gonna be <laughs> trying to grab all of Kendrick. I I forgot I could Eldritch Blast him because I've got Repelling Blast on it, so I could just get on the other side. And... <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'm going to grab him, I mean, or attempt to. Uh, strength or dex? Athletics. Oh, athletic? Come here, boy! Oh my god, he's going to get 23. <laughs> oh, and he got 15. Okay, you got a hold of him. You get him. All right, let's start. Drag I don't know how forced movement with grappling works. I'll just follow you. It's halved movement, but we're not in... Yeah, so you'll just, you'll come. You come here, boy. Like... And I'm and I'm like patting him as I bring him over. Come on, come on! I say, Valiant, get him! <laughs> so you guys walk up. Uh, you guys walk up to the lake, and I know you're trying to throw him in, but just the description of the lake, real quick. Willow trees encircle this sheltered pond. Lily pads dot the mirror-like surface of the water, and hungry dragonflies dart about, feeding on motion. Oh. Oh, there's dragonflies that move, and they're feeding on motionless fireflies that form an unmoving cloud above the still water. Interesting. All right, so yeah, this, uh, you've got Kidrick. You've dragged him over here. What's going on? Uh, Pushing him in. <clears throat> yeah. I help him. <laughs> All right. We need, to make him, we need to make him stop pooping everywhere. <laughs> I only did it once. Wait, I have a question. If he is stupid, is he smart enough to have pulled his pants down before he pooped? Or did he just go over oh, and attempt no, to make a no, poop? No, no, no. <laughs> no. You brought logic to the table that forces We need hand. details. 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 <laughs> details. Details. I, 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 I want did. real I did. light. Or do you have yeah, pants? That... Yeah, I have hands. A pants? No, no pants. pants. I think I have pants. Yeah. Okay, I just didn't know. Sometimes satyrs don't have pants. Yeah. Satyrs have pants. They just have furry butts. Just walking around with these slung out everywhere the last couple of sessions. <laughs> I think the one from Narnia didn't have pants. I'm just saying. No, yeah. but he was a fawn, not a satyr. Oh, all right. Fair enough. You're right. You know better. Okay. Anyway, what's what's happening now? Are you? Ch no. Never mind. I'm gonna ignore your question for you. What? Is, <laughs> what is oh. right now? So, it's um, I'm helping. Idea. I'm helping Valian push him into the water. Okay. Uh, great. Well, you push him into the water. Uh, I want no part. Okay, I'm in the water. Magic. It's not magical, so you're exactly the same as you were. But the water oh. kind of ripples. Out. It's like it's not. Boosh, you you kind of hit it. It's like the the goopy Play-Doh. You sink down into it and it's gonna die. absorbs <laughs> up over you. But as you guys look at where he was, he's sinking down and disappears under the surface. I mean, you can swim, whatever. That's but not good. You guys are looking, and from where he fell in, a delicate hand made of water, <laughs> black as winter. Wait, what? Is it a mermaid? This sentence. Hello, mermaid. Please make a friend not stupid no more. I'll just read this out loud, even though it doesn't make sense to me. A delicate hand made of water, black as winter's night, silently breaks the water's surface. The hand clutches a crown made of silver needles. Below the hand, oh, under the surface, the crown. A we found of it. Shimmering black fish takes on a vaguely humanoid form. What? Ooh, fish. I'm going to try and catch a fish. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Just roll. Grab the crown. Roll. Let's just say you do. That's fine. You, you, you're just biting at fish under the water. You get some fish in your mouth. Well, hell yeah. 
All right, that's that satisfies me. I'll stand up on the sh on the water line, like where I can stand, and eat my fish. He's all wet and poopy now. <laughs> I pulled my pants down. I can grab the crown. It's made of needles. Oh. Oh, I may change the crown. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still go grab it. Get it. Ow! 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 Oh, ow! Okay. No, I'm just kidding. You may change it, please. No, no, <laughs> you can, you can get it. I'm gonna prestigitation. I'm gonna prestigitation Tony up so he's now dry and non poopy. Oh, he doesn't have to I shake like himself her. dry. I'm like What's fine, that? I jump in and grab it. So you lean, you jump in, you grab it. Uh, it does prick your hands, but not enough to actually deal damage. Oh, thank God. Excuse me. Um. You hear the wind whip up around you, Valian. And the wind forms wow. into a voice. The beginning. Mom, is that you? Oh. The beginning oh. <laughs> of whenever. The end of ever after. The start of an age. The finale of every moment. The first in history. What? I'll copy the text. All right, I wrote it down. I'm gonna run. Oh wow! Ever, the end of ever after, the start of an age, the finale. That's not how you spell finale. <laughs> uh, of every moment, and the uh, the first in history. I think that was it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can type real quick. Mm -hmm. I was like, he yeah, copied I... this out of the book, and I was like, no, he's misspelled that. That's <laughs> That's fresh yeah. typing right there. It's F I N A L E, just in case any kids ever watch. And you know, let's yep. everyone. Um, and I run like a kitten that heard a vacuum because of that voice. Um, hey, where's the typo? Yeah, I can type 120 words a minute. Whoa. Wait, so is this, does he oh, hear the voice? Technically, only the... he hears the voice, Kidrick. Oh, okay. Uh, then I don't run. Hey, uh, gotcha. Repeat this out loud. Hey, guys! Guys, I heard a voice. I, is it is it emanating from the crown? Like, do I get the impression that when I picked up the crown, that's what caused me to hear it, or was it jumping in the water yeah. that caused me to hear it? Yeah, it's the crown. It's as soon as you grab okay. the crown, it started to fill your ears. Uh never. I bet well, then I done. definitely dropped it before it finished what? talking. Oh my god! I, <laughs> there's no way I'm like huh, another voice in my head. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa, is that you? Well, uh, sure, yeah, so I don't know if I heard it. that whole thing. Yeah, okay. I didn't. Uh, so I drop it, and then I'm like, ah! I was, there was a voice. It was talking to me. Should I pick it up again? Kendrick, hold this! Wait, don't give it to Kendrick. <laughs> I curl up in a ball at the bottom of the tree and go to sleep. Uh, yeah, plus, plus the, I'll see if I can hear the voice. Right, do not give it to Kendrick, <laughs> whatever you do. <laughs> Well, I dropped it, so it's on the ground now. So you can pick it up if you want. All right, I'll pick it up. Do I hear the voice? Oh, you do. You pick it up, and you hear the voice. As I was uh, saying, but... the beginning of <laughs> never, the end of that. I'm not going to say it again, but... Are you there? You still there? Wait, what's the... The lion is envy, and what's the heart? What's his name? Oh. Uh, well, you haven't met the heart yet. Yeah, no, but he did like, say. Yeah, the lion said. Wrath. Wrath, wrath, wrath. wrath. Okay. That's right. Envy and wrath. The lion told us. You spell N V E N V Y, right? Yes. Yes. Here's the, Here. the thing from earlier. Lion on the heart must wear the crown, but which one should it weigh down? That's not how you spell way either. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That's what happens when you type fast. This is what happens. This is why I can't get hired at a middle school. <laughs> how many <laughs> words? Moron. How many words of Bennett did you say you can type? <laughs> <laughs> how, how many of those are spelled correctly? <laughs> <X. Right. laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. It's, it's really probably closer to a hundred or so. Um. So I don't know why, but I think the answer is wrath because there are five little things 
and not four, and envy is only four letters and wrath is five letters. So I think you're supposed five. to figure out each of the letters, and um, there, there's five of them. But does that make sense? You mean like five clues in the where the yeah? There's five the clues up? here because of the commas he put. But there's only four letters in envy, and not <laughs> in four or five letters in wrath. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Spelled it right, right? That's how you spell wrath. Uh, yeah. Okay. Will, yeah. That's that's my theory. I. We should go find wrath and talk to it, and just confirm. Because what happens if we don't put the and crown I'd on the right? I'd say that thing? essence would also think i i could say that it has essence as well but um i'm just trying to be efficient because my throat hurts sure sure did the line um, tell I us i could also try I, I i'm pretty good at puzzles so i think i can, i i think i'm starting to solve it anyway uh did the line tell us what happens oh, yeah, if we're yeah. wrong okay the beginning of w the whenever uh the beginning is w and then the end of f Ever after, I, that might be one word, is R. So a W R. Then the start of age is A. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No. There, the I, I did it the normal way. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did it. But... I showed my proof. I showed my my math. Yeah, you're right. Because the beginning <laughs> of there. whenever is W. The end of ever after is R. Start of an age A. Finale of moment is T, the first in history. Hey, yeah, it's literally wrath. You did good. Yeah, yeah. They no. just, why didn't they give the lion a name that also has five letters? <laughs> that was that's funny that's that you solved it for that reason. I know they really should. <laughs> that's really big brain. Thank you. Okay, well we don't even need to. We can just walk straight into wrath thing and just. Plonk the crown on its head. <laughs> Here you go. It's like, wait, don't you want to talk first? Wow, the crown. <laughs> it's made of needles, apparently. Why I'm do gonna they want the crown? sniff a for its butt. <laughs> mm, you right. like, you me... like my butt. He is not I'm not gonna like it. I'm gonna so... turn away. And snort a little bit. What are we gonna do about? Fucking Kidrick over here, <laughs> being a beast man. Oh, you know what? Um, I uh, wait. No, I don't think I took the spell. Never mind. I was like, Essence might have to spell magic. We need to not. make him vomit up the water. Oh, I have to spell magic. I think. I think I took oh. it. Uh. uh... Uh, counter spell. Yeah, oh yeah, third spell magic. Spell, so. Yeah, that might work on him. All right, I first I'm gonna try. And... Stuff like that usually doesn't last that long, so it might not be. It might wear off soon. I don't know though. I'm gonna try and make him vomit up the water that he ate. That's making him stupid. <laughs> How are you that's going about too. that? <laughs> Asking him uh, or are you putting your finger down his throat? What is going on? Here? Yeah, Val Valin. <laughs> or I'll hold him down. Yeah. Yeah, everyone. We need to we need to fix him before we go any further, or else he's gonna like poop everywhere and scream and <sighs> be stupid. <laughs> Alright, everyone hold him down. Um Okay, I'm definitely holding him down. We'll get Zeus to put his um, finger down his throat while all three of us hold him down. All right, so we pile on him. <laughs> I'll put my steel. We have to. We have... Never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll we help. We have to fix him. All right, does everyone pile him? Yep. <laughs> I'm doing this for your own good, buddy. I'm going to goat scream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is why we got to fix him, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that, yeah. Uh, and then as he's screaming, I get Zeus to shove his fingers down his throat to try and make it puke. Okay. Um. 
Oh, I'm trying to fix you, him, I swear. I swear, I'm trying to fix him. He ate some water, it's making him stupid. I'm trying to get the water out of him. I don't know. Uh, let me just ask out a game. Okay, so to me, him being stuck like this would suck if I was that player. I don't know if you're cool keeping it or how lenient you want me to be on fixing this. Uh, um, It's... It's not exciting or interesting. Yeah. Right. That's how I thought. Okay. Well, let's roll with that then. <laughs> All it right. Permanent? It's for 24 no. hours. Or if, <laughs> if, I mean, technically, look, this works, but it's 24 said something hours. Curse does it? Yeah. Wait, so. can the unicorns end curses? Yeah. Rub rub your corns on them. <laughs> from your corns. Like a you can thing. drag me over there and find out, I guess. <laughs> Unicorns, I mean, rub your corns on them. What? I mean, I'm, I'm already, I'm already trying to make you vomit, so I'm gonna see if that works first. We've already got him held down, and it's already happening. Yes. Stick your corns down his throat. Oh, you know, right before <laughs> your, <laughs> right before, uh, Suze is about to, to gag Kidrick. The unicorns come over, uh, and Lamorne is just like. Oh, unfortunately, we're not at Wayward Pool. I mean, the the water of Wayward Pool has the has a greater restoration effect, but unfortunately, I don't have the ability. Uh, and then Sue's <laughs> gags. You end up <laughs> puking up this big glob of of water that now lands on the ground and <laughs> sinks away. Um, uh, and just, how do you feel, Tony? That your <laughs> intelligence can go back up. But you'll have remnants of animal-like features for the next day, but it's not oh, totally overcoming you. Okay. Did you learn your lesson not to eat random stuff everywhere? I'm going to take a bite of grass and say, Stop it! What? I'm start slapping his so. face. I'm like, like <laughs> stop eating things. <laughs> oh, no, the grass is fine. We've been eating it. Oh. It, it looked tasty. It Why? Is. Okay. What am I doing over here? I was at the f fountain. You did a poopy. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you did a lot of, um, interest. In Are your teeth okay? You were gnawing on trees. Uh, my, yeah, my, I've got stuff in, ugh, in my mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah. and why, why are my clothes wet? You no, I pressed the G. Oh, yeah. Oh, you I did, know. okay. Oh, that is true. Um, I'll be back. Alright, so my clothes aren't wet. Well, you were out. We got the crown. Did and... I eat fish? Yes. I have tasted fish in my mouth. Yes. Well, they were fish-like. Fish. Were they really fish? I think there were fish. <laughs> were you eating they were... <laughs> the, the maiden I... that's under the water? I thought they were, like, fish-adjacent. <laughs> yeah. There's some sort of aquatic thing. So it was like supermarket sushi. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Gas station sushi is more accurate. <laughs> oh, God. Like, uh, like at the Bucky's, you know, when you're traveling cross country and you really want your sushi. That's funny. I Next encountered Bucky's for the first time last week. It's crazy. I've never seen a Bucky's before. Have you been to a Wally's? Yeah. No. It's like a massive gas station that's technically a yeah. strip mall. Like, or oh, it's like wow. a city. Yeah, or like not it's like, like a, a strip city mall, block. Like a, a mall food area. Anyway. Is it like south of the border in North Carolina, South Carolina on I-95? I don't know what that is. I bet it that's probably it. is, and it's just the name they call it there. Okay. Anyway. Or the wall the wall uh Oh God! What's it called? Wall. Is it Wally's? No, no. Uh, the Wall Drugstore or whatever in uh, South Dakota. It's like that. Walgreens. Like, yeah. Walgreens. Yeah. No, it's Walls Drugs or I can't remember oh. what it's called. It's a famous stop. If you well, if you ever happen like to be near South Dakota, you'll see signs for it. It's like a Bucky's. You'll see signs for it for like a thousand miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's basically the same thing as south of the border. Yeah. All right, sorry. You can buy fireworks, and you can sleep there, and you can buy oh, you can lots buy fireworks? of tchotchkes. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so you puked 
Uh, you're back to normal somewhat. Ish. Ish. I'm normal adjacent. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gas station normal. And the wind is just blowing through the area. The people are still talking back at the be the pavilion. We got mm -hmm. no other point of interest on the map. Did you find the crown? I, I told you, yeah, we did. Wow. Yeah. I missed all the good stuff. It's all right. There's, we still gotta go see the heart and put it on his head. Oh. How do we know? We solved a riddle. Oh, you guys are so smart. We try. Should we just um, fly up over here and not risk getting attacked by the goblins? Yeah, I mean, y that's all on you. Yeah. Follow me! And I'll start lifting the guys up on the wall uh, one by one. Oh, we're, we're all... Okay, we're all going... Is there a door? Yeah, oh, up the here. Door's up there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's up on the walkway. So you just fly down, lift them up, lift them up to the walkway. How high up is yep. the walkway? 20 feet. 20 feet. Um... My mirth Philippe, I could probably get up there, right? I will say yes. Mm -hmm. Zeus is invisible on my shoulder again. I don't know why I am over yeah, Zeus's yeah. bottle now. He was over mine, so I could sit him on my shoulder, but oh, it's not sorry. that way anymore. I should move myself. That's okay. For right now, when there's not multiple levels, it's easier for me. I thought he was just going by himself, so... But I, then I was like, oh yeah, he's moving me. Oh. Huh? Right. You open <laughs> the doors. This tower is filled with hawthorns. Which I guess is a type of flower or a tree, maybe? I don't know. At the heart yeah, of hawthorn the thing... heights. Do you have negative two strength? Does that answer that? Wait, what is that? You have negative two strength, <laughs> Kidrick? I do? Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, well, you probably have... so you should just roll, you rolled a one, but, um, you can usually jump your strength oh, score, which he I'm guessing is... Negative it's... Two. No, he's a I don't, two, he... yeah. It's just, a... well, what is this, it, where did that come from? I might have hit, I might have hit the minus button. Oh, uh, maybe you just... Like on the roll. Okay. What are you trying to roll? Your mirth, I was oh, just rolling my mirth belief. I see. Mm. Oh, well, I don't think it's going to add up to 20 either way. No, so I'm still down here. <laughs> like, oh, I just lift him up. Oh. Okay. I'm like, Very I'm nice like watching jump. him try and, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I... <laughs> all right, when he lifts me up, I, I involuntarily goat scream a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Valiant. I don't know what's, I don't know what's, um, I gonna say I just, I just learned that hawthorns have edible fruits, so I'm like rummaging around looking for fruits. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess there's fruits. On. What are they're trees? Yeah. Okay. Hawthorns are deciduous plant. Well, they're deciduous plants. I don't know if they're like bushes. A large genus of thorny shrubs or small trees oh. in the rose family. Oh. Well, there it is. Roses are America. edible. And at the heart of the oh. thicket... Oh, I guess if it's a thicket, it's probably bushes. Nope, never mind. I'm not going through there, because then I'm going to take a bunch of bramble damage. Ha <laughs> ha! At the heart of the they thicket, are. a yeah. heart seemingly made from iron stands atop a marble pedestal, pawing the ground angrily. Strewn around the pedestal are a dozen empty baskets. We are wrath. Bow to us. Uh, I bow. Uh, we? The authority. <laughs> Thank you. Newcomer. I growl a little, but I bow. Hmm. I growl in the back of my throat, but I bow. I'll, I'll bow what as well. Brings thee to my tower. We we bring you a crown. Does Valiant bow? Yes, I bow. Okay. And I say, you look so cool and beautiful, and I love you. 
<laughs> I mean, so metal and sick, and like you're gonna fuck some shit up. That's right. <laughs> okay, you've earned my respect. What is it thou wants of us? Uh, I brought you a crown. Mm, you've chosen me worthy, have you? You remind me of my great uncle, Ramstein. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you. God, I'm trying to think of. Do you hate him? <laughs> no, he hates me. Ah! <laughs> he he hates he hates you it's me <laughs> ah, totally okay. metal well, as long as you respect me <laughs> well if you've chosen me to be the wearer of the crown so be it he kneels down make sure you're correct or the crown will uh, vanish we think we're correct so be it. There's no Yellow chance it's not like this is the wrong one. Don't put it on Wrath, right? There's no chance we're like doing that. Well, the, name Wrath? The, the, crown you the clue. He said his name is Wrath. Yeah, the clue seemed Essence worked it out. It seemed pretty legit. But y'all are. And you put it on? Sure. Just clean up, put the crown on the heart's head, and as it sits on its head, it begins to turn to gold. It starts shining bright, and he stands back up. You have chosen correctly. You now have hey, access. Good job, Essence. Thank you. And he bows to you. Well done. Nice. What does that mean for us? Can we go inside the palace now? We didn't even see if it was locked. Was it locked before? <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, yeah, you haven't gone to the front door, so you don't know. Uh, hang on. I think there's different information <laughs> in the other side. Hang on. Um, Did it work? Were we right? Were you guys right? Yeah. Sorry. I just, uh... We were. Um, I mean, Ra or Envy had told you that the crown works as a key to let guests reach certain areas of the palace when she's gone. Um, yeah, I guess that's all they told you that it's relevant. Can you tell us what areas we have unlocked? That will be Do we walk into you? Oh. That will become Sorry. evident. No explanation needed. So are we allowed to? Are we allowed to go in the palace? Look at the castle. Certain areas. You look out at the castle. I mean, it looks the same, I guess. Give me a perception check, though. I want to try and walk into him, like literally just stepping into him. Okay. Like he's a like he's a living portal, like a lion in uh, Steven Universe. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds awesome. I need to watch Steven Universe. Of, That's a great show. Being that is a leg. portal, unfortunately, that yes. does not work. You run right into it. Okay. What is the meaning of this? This is not <sighs> space. You got to crinkle I, the bag. I, I definitely believe in personal space. I just thought you might be a living portal. I apologize. I like bow my head and like step a few steps back. I was thought you were a portal, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, if I had a nickel every time, someone thought I was a portal. All right, great. Well, so you've put the crown on his head, has, have left it there, it has turned to gold. He says, you now have access. What are you guys doing? Oh. I'm looking at the castle. Okay, yeah, if there's the nothing... Perception. Oh, should we? Oh, should we all step inside, close the door, and then see if we open it if anything changes? Sure. What? Like a magic door? Yeah, like maybe the door will change things. 
Yeah, may as well. Oh, close and open the door. It only takes like one second. Could you Everybody get in. Perception, though. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, I assume Essence is gonna do it. Yeah, I think. It... All right. Well, I'll click it just to save the time. Uh, yeah, it looks exactly the same as when you went in there. <laughs> okay. There's what some testing? doors over here, guys. So wait, Kidrick, roll that perception check. You were looking at the castle. Yeah. Okay, Five. Well, yeah, you just see the the, cal the, the palace, the castle up ahead. Uh, this walkway heads to two double doors up ahead. I guess a little bit over to the left. There's a balcony up above the, the rounded windows area. The front doors down below. Doors on the other side. But yeah, you guys you guys walk across the walkway here, and you find these ones open, guys. This area. And we go in talking or swinging. Oh, okay. These guys are all frozen, I think. Oh. This candle lit workroom contains tables. Dre oh. Hang on. I gotta switch to in the palace songs. This candlelit workroom contains tables, dressers, and bunks for the palace staff. Five goblins are frozen in place like statues caught in the mundane chores of ironing clothes, folding Aww. sheets, darning socks. Oh, I added folding sheets, but it was already in the list. And folding sheets. <laughs> A row of brass bells is mounted on one wall. Brass bells. I've Brass seen bells, bells like that before. Depending on which one rings, it tells them where they need to be called to. It's this is servants' quarters. Right. Okay. Do they have any like name tags on or? Uh, no, not really. Like I'm trying to see if I can find their name to unfreeze them. All, all goblins have the same name, and it's Boblin. <laughs> uh -oh. No, they don't have name tags. I'm going to kick this barrel over. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. I can't. It's it's just involuntarily kick the barrel over. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, yeah, it falls to the ground. You're just kind of. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll pick the barrel back up. Put it back where it was. Should we search the room? Sure. We have to remember that the hags or Baba Yaga might be in here. Definitely the Chumbawamba's in here somewhere, so yeah, we, we should probably be fine. careful. Uh, I don't know how much good stuff servants would have. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not looking to steal. I'm just looking to... Ooh, but I have advantage. That's a 14. That's terrible. So you guys are yeah, but I don't know how much, how helpful it would be. Oh, may as well check out the room quickly or something. I don't know. Now, you guys are kind of looking around. Um, and I, I guess Valiant is being sneaky, but out of the corner of Valiant's eye, you see a thin movement, like... Between the wall and up here, this is like cupboard. Hmm. Like it's like a yeah. foot between the cupboard and the wall, but you like see something moving there, like maybe wind blowing a piece of paper, or I don't know. Can you can you just click where exactly that oh, is? Sorry, sorry. I, yeah, it was here. Yeah. Uh, okay. He, he did. Cool. He clicked over there. Oh, before. okay. Sorry, I missed it. It's just not always on their map sometimes. Uh, is it exactly Valiant that sees it? Yeah, because his passive perception is high enough. Gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna... Hey, guys, there's something over here. Uh, hmm. And I'm going to... Can I make an active perception? Uh, sure. Sure. I mean, I guess you technically oh, I guess. Don't have to. You just walk right up to the area. You're standing there. You look kind of behind it. And much like the shadows that existed in Motherhorn, paper thin, like Peter Pan, 
it's leaning up against the wall, but it's not opaque. It's oh. not black. It's a humanoid figure, seemingly almost made of paper. Oh, whoops. I think I did that one. That's creepy. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Oh, you, so you, you found paper. me. Oh, I thought you meant it was a paper doll. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, come on out. You're, you're not in any trouble, but you might be if you oh, God. don't behave yourself. I've finally been found out. Just do what you will with me, League. Le the we're not the League of League. League. No, no. No, we're, we're the good guys. You're not with them. Well, no, the good guys are frozen. These well, goblins? We're the new good guys that are here to save the old good guys. <laughs> God, it's complicated. Are you saying these goblins are the good guys? Yeah, I mean, they're neutral. Not all that are frozen are good guys, but all that are good guys are frozen? Well, if you're good guys, that's not true. I'll have to rework that phrase. But I got, I got what you're saying. Well, you're not I, frozen. I was gone on business while this all happened. Well, we weren't here either when it happened. Well, that makes sense. I just, it's been so long and no one has come to change anything. Of course, who would? Who would want to fight the, the, the daughters of Baba Yaga? We do. How many daughters of Baba Yaga? She has three in one adoptive, of course. She had three. What's this? We killed one. Oh. You've already killed one. Mm hmm. Okay, well, you might be more worthy than I had thought. Interesting. Okay, well, whatever I can do to help then. We must How do we bring the these mistress folks? back to life. Not that she's dead, but surely she could fix this. They've been right That's the plan. Hmm? I thought you said we must bring the misters back to life, like Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Oh, no, mistress. No. The mistress. Do you, got, do you know these um, slaves' names? Hmm. Are they slaves or servants? Servants? They are servants. Um. Sure. Sure, I know the names. I think. Because we can. Oh, I would be a we bad can butler if I didn't know their names. Oh gosh. Well, even if you know one of their names, surely them working together would know each other's names. So we can unfreeze them if we know their names. Can you? No, I mm -hmm. don't think so. The sisters have hidden the only possible way. Uh, I, uh. That's as good these guys are I fly over to the unicorns and be like, hey, can we borrow one of you guys for a second? What? Oh, yeah, sure. What's up? Oh, you want me to come up there? Oh, yeah, I there's can't, people I can't down fly. trees. Oh, I, yeah, I'll lift you up. <laughs> I don't, okay. Uni you can't unicorns lift can't fly? <laughs> no. well, we yes, can I have... can. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm... We could always put name tags on the uh, goblins and you could carry them down. <laughs> Or we could just throw them off the that. balcony. Look, I can teleport, but I only have one per day. Can you climb a rope? No, I'm a horse. Well, no, that's rude. I'm a unicorn. Um, Is there yeah. any other way up to this story, up to this level? That <laughs> if we... Euphoria lifts me and I have um, my tensor's floating disc. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> the unicorns can stand on it. It's... <laughs> Okay. Big brain. There you go. Libby coming out with the big brain tonight, and you said you were sick and your brain's not working properly. And here it's you not. are. <laughs> well, if this is you at half capacity, I'm mate. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we do that. Great. All right, you lift up. We'll say Lamorna goes with you. Oh wow. Okay, I don't normally go inside. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Oh no! Don't get my horn caught. Okay. Get through the doors. All right, I'm in. What are we doing? I'm freezing these guys. Oh, great. Okay. So um, what's uh, 
what what's what's your name by the way i ask oh. of the butler he puts his hand out to shake my name is thinnings thinnings indeed nice to meet you thinnings nice my name is kid you. nice to meet you kid now who are the other heroes you've brought with you i'd love to learn the names maybe write down in history who took out the baba yaga sisters uh, my, my name's Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. And I like everyone kind of realizes that I'm using a fake name, like I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, didn't you say you're a kid? Yeah, I said I'm kid. kid. Rick, but kid. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Essence's name has always been a fake name, so just right. say Essence. <laughs> Nice to meet you. And who's this sneaky one? Oh, I had my mic muted. They call me Valencia. <laughs> You're probably trying to introduce yourself multiple times. Uh, <laughs> ah, Valencia. Good eye, Valencia. Hopefully that'll help out to take out the... Oh, there's so much... Fingers crossed. Here. I'm hoping... Well, okay, let's freeze these guys, save those guys. They're not fighters, but we can at least get them out of dodge. All right. Well, let's go one by one. That's Gerd, and that's Virix Squiz. That's Rugox. And who's that? And that's Team Riaz. Oh, all right. Lamorna, okay. please get to work. That's only four. Isn't there five? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't notice. Um, yes, that is the one I've known for the longest. Um, hmm. Yes, I know his name, or else I'd be a bad boss. Um, uh, that's Ord. Uh, Lamorna goes around and everyone unfreezes, but that guy. Go ahead, unfreeze him. It's not oh. his name. God, okay. Well, look, I have to look up on the, the hiring paperwork. I forgot, okay, admittedly. Uh, but everyone comes inside back to check. Life. No, he did for okay, you can inside check it. Do the other ones know their friend's name? Yeah, they must. Okay, yeah, inside he does, he did forget it. Uh, as they wake up, the they the two holding the sheets finish folding the sheet. Uh, and they seem to just go back to business like nothing's going on. And then they're shocked that people are in the room. Yeah! I'm sorry, but come back later, the room. No, this is our room. What are you doing here? What's going on? Thinnings? We have guests. No one told us. Yes, they're... Sorry, there's a lot to explain. Zabilna is in trouble, and... Her sisters turned against us. We've you've been frozen for over a year. Please take cover. Save yourselves. Oh, and what his you know, um they would can you his name what, I just want to know which ones of you, if any of you what's his name? Oh that's uh that's Ox. Ox two fucking letters I couldn't remember. Okay. Uh he gets unfrozen and now you, you got the to... first letter, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you, but it's not good enough. I am so don't you guys don't tell Ox I didn't know. I just woke up and I just this is the first thing I heard. What didn't you know? It, this it's not important. Let's drop it. Okay, guys. What can we do to help Sibylla? Where is she? She's frozen in the ballroom. And is she uh, guarded? Eh, kind of, yes. I mean, the League won't go near her, right? But that's because the Chumbawamba curls up around her cauldron. And that's the same room everyone is frozen in. So, no, but yes? Yeah, okay, we need there as any... much information as you can give us. Especially about the Chumbawamba, please. 
Yeah, is there any reason why the Chumbawamba would leave? Well, why would it leave? I mean, she trained it to drink from her cauldron. That's why it stays there, but... Um... You know... You know what the one thing it's scared of? What's what? that? No, like, like I expect you to guess. Bloody Beak! Who's Bloody Beak? Oh. We've... Yes. It's Jivilna's Great Owl. Where's she keeps that? keeps it in the aviary, but of course, it's frozen. But if you have the ability to unfreeze things, then maybe... Interesting. Is Bloody Beak Bloody Beak's true name? It is. That's good to know. Um, where's the aviary? It's to the north. Let me remember directions. Indeed, it is this floor, main floor, to the north from here. Hmm, I'd... I mean, you can go north, but you'd have to pass through the banquet hall. But of course, Stubvogel has taken up room in there, so I would be careful. Um, maybe you could go around? Yeah, guys, you can go around. The same way that you brought Lamorna up here. Bring her around the outside and land in the aviary and unfreeze the owl. Hmm, yeah. well, the aviary's doors are sealed shut from the inside. But it's Anyone? an aviary. Isn't there a landing area? There is, but the doors would need to be opened. Does anyone have a, um, like a key or like a spell to open stuff? Oh, uh, um, I took the spell knock. Is that an open thing? Mm. Yeah, and you're the Did one I who know? has to go to carry okay. Lamorna. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do that. Oh, I don't have it on my character sheet. I thought I did. Did I maybe just not update you? I thought you did. Did I not? I, from talking to you, and like, as I was up... Maybe I didn't save it on D&D Beyond. He's saying something about knock last session, and I'm like, oh, what's that spell? Yeah. Oops. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, I think you... Probably. It's really loud, <laughs> but it opens anything. Wait, is that true? That's funny. Yeah. I didn't think I read that part and I had someone else doing it. Yeah, that's... Oh, I, I do have it on D&D Beyond, yeah. Okay. Have you... I don't think you've utilized any... Anything I have to worry about overriding if I do an update, right? Like, you haven't used mm. leveled spells or anything. No, no, I haven't. Um, I also have a bomb. The only I have is um, the the axe. Okay, yeah, anything I add from here won't get overwritten, so we should be good. I'm going to run another import. If all else fails, I can give you my bomb. <laughs> <coughs> there it comes. Wait, so is there something we can't open? The door to the aviary is locked from the inside. And oh. if we fly Lamorna around to the north to get in the aviary to free Bloody Beak, um, uh, so right. Euphoria would have to carry you, and you would have to carry Lamorna on your um, floaty circle thing. Then I, I could knock and open it. Do you have to um, put Lamorna down in order to do that, or no? No, it's no, it's not concentration. Okay. Yeah, so then the three of you should be able, well, the two of you and Lamorna should be able to do that. Honestly, yeah. the tensor, the disc isn't even gone yet. It lasts for an hour, so. You still have it. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. So what's going on? They're going yeah, to fly dude. around the outside? Uh -oh. Yeah. Something really convoluted. <laughs> that sounds um, really cool. Sounds like we're big I, brain. Just, just 
just to be clear, I can pro I can open stuff like maybe twice. Okay, it, it's pretty difficult. Well, this is the one that takes care of the Chumbawamba, so I think it's got priority. Yeah, no, I'm just warning you that we can't like just go all willy nilly on everything. I got a it bomb. That, um, it can only open up one lock. Uh, I guess we're we're probably talking about this in game as characters. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna ask the butler and the other servants. Does the door that's locked from the inside only have one lock on the aviary, or one one bar? Hmm. It depends which way you go. Look, the room has the outside door that would need to be open for Bloody Beak to get out. On the inside, there's a door to enter the room, but it's surrounded by bars. As to protect the person entering the room from Bloody Beak. Does that Wait, protect it from Bloody Beak? So Bloody Beak would attack us? Possibly. It's wild. Bloody... Oh. How big is Bloody Beak? Mm, pretty big. It's as big as as big as Lamorna? Bigger. It's gargantuan. Oh. Is Bloody okay. Beak intelligent? Mm, not really. No. Mind of a beast. But and I don't have to speak with beasts anymore. Does anyone... Uh, does anyone have a spell that we can communicate with? I mean, I've got comprehend languages, but that doesn't help. Oh, I could transform... Can beasts speak with each other? Like other beasts? No, I don't think so. Not an alien. Yeah, they don't have like a common language or anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I mean, you may not need to speak their language. It's somewhat trained, but it is risky. It's a dangerous owl. I mean, you, someone who could handle it right may be able to do it, but you'd have to be very good with animals. Does anyone have. What is it? Animal What's handling? The check? Yeah. You I know don't. what? I'll give, I'll give Kidrick advantage on it for the time being because of si sipping the drink. <laughs> Can I sit on Lamorna while Lamorna sits on the tensor disc? How much so the weight disc does is the like... tensor disc do? Livy? Alright, yes. Oh, how much weight can the tensor disc hold? A tensor disc can hold... Um... Is that what it says? I know it's Sorry. a lot. Yeah, 500 pounds. Okay. Then that's probably good. Or how much does a fucking... Does it even say what a... It's not gonna say. Oh, well, horses do weigh a lot. Horses yeah, weigh horses like thousands weigh... of pounds. Like a thousand yeah. pounds. So <laughs> I hope the FBI looks at my search history. How much does a unicorn weigh? <laughs> uh, a horse weighs between 793 and 2,205 pounds. That's like a Clydesdale. Never mind. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Now well, the lowest is 441. Oh, 397. Yeah, I mean, I looked up unicorn. It's, <laughs> there's a bunch of specifics. Clydesdale is not the heaviest. 4.7 to 6 feet tall. And they weigh 480 to 920 pounds. How much does Bloody Beak weigh? <laughs> oh, probably way more than that. It's gargantuan. Oh. Gargantuan, oh. but, but with hollow wings. Sure. <laughs> hollow bones. <laughs> hollow bones, I mean. Yeah, hollow bones. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to go back and say Lamorna couldn't have gotten moved up to this point, but I think all that can sit on the tensor's disc is Lamorna for, for this case. So she's on the low end of the uh, unicorn weight scale. <laughs> she's a svelte unicorn. She's a skinny queen. <laughs> now, 
look, I know you're trying to get things done quicker than not. Of course, <laughs> your your knock is going to cause commotion. You may even draw the Chumbawamba with it. Of course, there's a secret word to open up the Avery doors, Aviary doors, oh. but only Zybilna and her closer allies know it. So I guess that doesn't help, because uh, I don't know. No, Lamorna, do you know it? Me? No, what? Well, you're no, friends with Zybilna. Well, I am, but I'd I say... never really came here. I... No, I don't Where know. Where is it. the Aviary? Like, um... It's directly north from here. Thinnings was saying that you could take hallways to get there, but then he mentioned that Dub for Gale is taking up residence in the banquet hall, and that may cause an issue. Uh, so potentially you could fly around the outside or go the long way around the palace. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it costs multiple discs at the same time? Probably not. Uh <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Eh, I don't know. I'm happy to do whatever. I mean, even if it draws the Chumbawamba, the owl might fight it or something, but yeah, I don't know. But if you just unfreeze the owl, it might attack you. And that would be just half of our party. You can't talk to animals anymore, can you? No. Damn it, Doolittle. And I was gonna see if Zeus can shape change into a beast and then he could speak with the beast, but obviously beasts can't talk to each other. That's what I was thinking, like, if they're birds, like, could I summon or change Zeus into an owl? Like, can owls speak to each other? Like, I don't know. Master. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you could probably do there, that. It no, because there is no common language. Animals don't speak a language. Yes, they do. It's like they speak owl, no. or like their language is usually what animal they are on their stat blocks. Sometimes, yeah. Are you I sure? don't think in this like, case. Blink dogs speak blink dog. <laughs> well, that's different. Blink dogs, though, no. are they're not they're not animals. They're intelligent. Like they are, they have like an eight or nine intelligence. Like they're as smart as human beings are. Yeah, I think animals right, don't some animals have... do. It exists, but when they don't... I'll say that this owl doesn't know a language. I'll just tell you that. Hey. She... But master, let me pitch something. I yeah. can't die, is that right? Uh, you can die, but I can just resummon you with an owl. Is that me, or is that a new me? Oh, uh, that's you, because you just get sent back to the plane, and I just summon you back. Okay, I'm confused about that. I don't want a prestige going on here. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, you've already <laughs> you've already died. You've already got sent back once, don't you remember? <laughs> oh right. Well, that's why I thought I couldn't die. Okay, look, maybe that owl want to eat me, right? Maybe, potentially. And then I could. Uh. Let it eat me instead of you. Or something, I don't know. That's very me-seeks of him. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> maybe, maybe we just need to bring it like an offering, like some food along the way or something. Like Zeus. Yeah, like me, master. <laughs> Feed me to it. <laughs> Feed me, master. Oh, oh, we could just bring one of these... Uh... Sevens to the <laughs> I don't um, think we can. We've they been can't here for fly. The whole thing. Uh, I don't think so. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. I, well, we met, yeah, I don't know what's funny. I uh, guess yeah. Throw killing me is hilarious. <laughs> we just saved you. Why would I want to kill you? I don't know. You said it. All right, Lamorna, let's can, okay, buddy, can you talk I'm animals? the one who's gonna die here, not you, Mr. Goblin. Wait, what can what can Lamorna do? Can she commune can with I animals do? or anything like that? I know she can teleport once. You said it's true. Can she I do can anything teleport else? Once, yeah. Um, you know, I can stab people with my horn. I can hoove them. You know, just people. Um, oh, creatures, all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. 
Just not objects, I guess. And But, you know, give me an object and I'll try it. I'll show you. All right. Well, okay. What can I do? Um, I I'll hold up a pillow. I can heal people. Okay, she tries to stab us. <laughs> missing a couple times. It's just, I can't, it's up here in my eyes. It's hot. It's, I don't know why it's against objects, but okay. Um, I can teleport. I can heal you. I can calm emotions. I can dispel good Ooh. evil. I can entangle can you calm emotions. emotions. Three once per day. Just keep in mind. Detect good and evil. Pass without a trace. A little bit of druid craft. I also kind of oh. have a shimmering shield, but that's... T I don't mean to brag. Calm can emotions you... might be really good. Yeah, can you calm the emotions of uh, the owl? Oh. Unfortunately, it has to be a humanoid. Oh. Can um, I have, have one more. Humanoid? What? Never mind. Uh... Oh, no. Turn the owl into a humanoid? I don't think so. I have... Wait, why is Command still here? Can you take anyone I... with you when you teleport? Did I just not update you? Did I Maybe, because I swapped... I swapped Command out uh, for... I'm pretty sure I had Hold Monster or something. Or Hold Humanoid. Because I'm looking... Hold... I can't remember which one I took, but I took Hold something. Because I swapped Did Command out because it was useless. Sorcery points right now? Hold monster Knock. is pretty high level. I don't know. Let me check my D and D Beyond quickly, because my other my other Your suggestion quest, is. I don't know if you have it. Well, I was just gonna update you again, but I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't replace anything you've used. I feel like you've used sorcery points, right? This should be at one. Uh, no, no, no. So I'm full sorcery points, and I have one extra slot. first level spell. Yep. Uh, let me just quickly check my character sheet and I'll tell you if... Because command definitely should be swapped out. Alright, well, you've used one first level and that's what I'll change after the import. No, 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 um, I have an extra first level. Oh. Can you do uh, that? Where's my spell? I don't think you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can. I'll tell you in a second. Sorry, just give me one second. Okay. Why is it? Why is my character sheet stuck on ability saves and senses? Oh, go away. You sure you don't have two extra ones? Yeah, wait, so... Command is gone. Oh, it is! It's whole person. Okay, so I can't... Alright, I just updated. Okay, and I've got one extra first level spell. Uh, yes, I can, because long story short, I have sorcery points, uh, and before we long uh, short rested, I changed those sorcery points into extra spell slots. It's only when I sleep, when I long rest, that it disappears. I just didn't know you could fill up more spell slots than you had. Uh, yeah, you can convert them. You can just never have more sorcery points than your max. More and I can only convert them. Well, yeah, and I can only convert right. them to level one or level two spells. I cannot convert to level three. Gotcha. All right. Well, I've updated you. So what? What's the plan? Let's get moving. Uh, it, uh I have one more idea because our biggest thing is like we need Lamorna and Kidrick, and we obviously need um, Essence for the disc. So my only, so we basically need to get Kidrick there somehow. So I'm like, could we potentially? Borrow the other unicorn and remove his horn if he's willing and use that as a flying mount to get Kidrick over there as well. Then we'd have the ability to open the door. We'd well, have... I, um, I have a thought. Um, Lamorna, can, can you teleport anyone with you or can you just teleport by yourself? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I can bring up to three people with me. So if you guys fly around, unfreeze the owl, you can teleport back here and let the owl be free. Yeah. Oh, I teleport back with the owl? Without well, the owl. Without. Oh. The owl will be unfrozen and free. Oh. Okay, 
So you fly me around and then I just teleport back. That could work. Yeah. With with essence and a for Yeah. Yeah. We could make that happen. It works for me. Do you like that plan, Essence? Why, do, why does she need to teleport back? Because we don't want to get attacked by the owl. That's if the owl attacks stop. you, you can teleport back. Oh, right, right, right. All if right. the owl doesn't attack you, then you don't have to teleport back. But if you get attacked, you can teleport back here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let, let's do it. Okay, I'm into it, yeah. Get, let me get on uh, that big old... That big old disc. Is that a record? A big old D. Uh, no, 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 no. It, it, <laughs> it's like a, a, it's a bit um, see-through, but it looks like um, a tre tree, tree ring. Uh, some, you, you know. Oh yeah, with the rings of of the of the years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, put your yeah. record on. Oh, Tell cool. me your favorite song. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I'm watching two kids. This... Okay. Hi. Hi, guy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, oh. Okay, yeah, let me climb. It's like a little boat. Kind of. Like a, it's a bird. Okay, no. All right. I can fly. Is what it's like a flying carpet tabletop. Yeah, it's like, it's such a new experience for me. I'm normally one place and then another place, um, but never slowly through the air. This is incredible. So what is so? How does this work? Euphoria has essence, and the mm -hmm. the disc is floating near essence, and that's what brings Lamorna along. Yeah. Okay. I guess we just you can move us if it's better for you. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Around the outside here. I'll be right back. I need to get a cookie. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. That's why my token was above everyone's all the time. Yeah. Uh, so you fly around this way. Hang on, let me zoom out this map. Now, but you're noticing directly to your left from this, there, there used to be a turret or like another tower there, but this giant beanstalk, this, this huge plant has grown up and is holding the, the top of the tower like 60 feet up in the air. Oh. You okay. come down this way to your left through the windows here. You what see the fuck is that? Giant fucking weird, hey, okay. gross, lumpy thing sitting at the end of a long banquet table. Uh, and there's food all mm -hmm. up on the table and it's shoving it down its mouth. And it actually has the, the tablecloth like tucked up into its shirt. Oh my god. That looks like a that troll. Must be the. That must be the thing that the guys were talking about at the banquet. Yeah. What was his name again? Thinnings. Oh, that guy? Oh, he called it Dub for Gale. Dub um, for Gale. Gale? Call oh, this owl. Holy majoly. Oh, God. That's <laughs> oh my... really big. <laughs> that's freaky. There's <laughs> a approach... lot of bones in that room. Yeah, you approach the aviary. An enormous owl stands perfectly still in the middle of this room, its wings partially outstretched. A wall of iron bars stretching from floor to ceiling forms a protective barrier around the chamber's entrance on the other side, keeping visitors separated from the owl. The wall where you're at has a double door 20 foot wide. Um, the marble floor is littered with the bones of giant rats. Here. So what is happening? You guys are hovering outside the, the double doors here. And uh open the door and quickly unfreeze it. <laughs> I have to knock though, right? Right. Yeah, this is what you're for. Oh thank you. I, That's all you're for. I thought it was also carrying the unicorn, but you know. Yeah. She's yeah. in a lot no, of ways. Is... I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, yeah, what's, what's happening here? Oh, okay, so you cast knock, you knock on it, boosh, it echoes out, it's audible for 300 feet in every direction, but the door is yep. unlocked, 
and you're able to enter the chamber. I'm just gonna drag you guys down here. Do we hear it? You do hear it. Yeah. <laughs> what now? Lamorna, do your yes. thing. What was its name again? Uh, come on, he told us. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it, but I'm not there. Yeah, what was the name? Oh no, do we have to fly back? <laughs> too loud. Can I do a history check? Yeah, just, I'm not going to be that mean about it. I, I, maybe Essence knows it, but... Sorry, okay, I, I forgot. Yeah, I know you had stuff going on. <laughs> Do you, Does Zeus remember? Do you remember the bird's name? Buddy Bee. Uh, oh, that's of right. course. Good. <laughs> oh, we thought we had to go back. A <laughs> boy couldn't remember it, even though he just told us. Oh I couldn't God. remember it either, though. I'm blaming him. I didn't know either. That's my bad. Okay. All right. So Bloody Beak, I'm gonna I'm gonna ram into this guy. I'm gonna touch my horn to him, say his name, uh, and then we gotta get out of here. Um, shit. Oh, uh, since I know that they open the door, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, point my finger north and do a mess. Do I still have a message? I didn't get rid of that spell, did I? I still have it. It's cantrip. Okay. I'm going to message Aphoriate. Um, just see if you can somehow direct the bird at the Chumbawamba. Uh, and reply before you before you come back here if you can uh we can't there's only one exit for this thing well i don't know then maybe say uh get the chumbawamba or something uh, i don't have any more replies yeah go for it lamorna <laughs> i'm gonna try and i'm gonna try and like handle it uh, and if that fails, you just teleport us, okay? Alright, just to make this a little bit more tricky, you guys just roll into an initiative order. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to last that long. Oh, I just clicked for a 4 I'm sorry, let me delete. Oh. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, Essence and Suze and Mamorna. I'll get this bloody beak in there. Just to see who moves when. Um, yeah, I guess unfreezing someone's a free action. Is it? I don't know. Maybe doing this is pointless. Oh, you're... I just assumed that we would, like, have, like, actions ready for when, unless, unless Essence wants to try and handle it, like, I'd just be ready to, like... Yeah, I can. Try. Yeah. I just figured, I mean, I think it's going to work out with the initiative order. As long as Bloody Beak didn't go before Lamorna, I was going to say she unfreeze, we'd start the initiative, and if they had attacks in between, that's fine. But because of the initiative, Lamorna will be able to unfreeze, we'll start at the beginning, Lamorna will teleport, and everybody's safe. So that's the only reason I use the initiative. All right, so Lamorna leans in, touches her unicorn horn to the giant owl, and says... Bloody beak, uh, and all of a sudden it's, it continues to stretch out its wings, uh, comes back in, flaps in, looks down at you guys. Uh, its eyes go wide, it furrows its brow, it comes down to try to bite you, and Lamorna's like, nope, uh, you guys disappear and appear back where you were before. Oh, okay. All right, then. Did we do it? We're safe. We did it. We did it. Okay. Owl's awake? The owl's oh, awake and he tries to eat us. And it's huge. It is massive. I... Would you have tried to say something? Sorry, I skipped over if you guys were responding once it unfreezes. I think we were going to try and um handle it. Yeah, make nice with it. <laughs> but I don't know. If it isn't open to that, then that's cool. What technically um, might be... I know I moved your. We didn't get to it, but well, here, let's just move you back. It's not that hard. 
what would you guys have done? I guess who's first in the order? Essence, what would you have tried first? Um, I think uh, she would have um, pointed out the window, the open windows, mm -hmm. and said uh, Chumbawamba, because that might be a word that he'll still understand. Okay. Or maybe also say Zybilna as well. <laughs> Zybilna, Chumbawamba, pointing out the window. <laughs> okay, give me an animal handling. Okay. <laughs> Zybilna, Chumbawamba. <laughs> <laughs> Understand me. Uh, okay. 15. Okay, so you're doing that. Uh, a 4 8, what would you have done? Uh. I hold out a potato. <laughs> okay, uh, roll an animal handling with advantage. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> potato. I don't know. I mean, uh, potato is valuable before I I should follow through. To an owl? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone loved the potato. <laughs> uh, animal handling. I should have guidanced myself before, too. Oh, wait. Is this a skill check? Can I use my favored by the gods on that? I think it's only saving like, throws. Let me just... You just got a 19. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a, it's, if you saw how big this thing is, man, you might want to use it, too. Where the freak is my favored by the gods? Oh, here. Even if it doesn't make sense with a potato... Uh... He got an 18 no, I can't. first roll, so. Um, all right, well, great. That that actually is good enough to... What do you say to it? You just give it a potato, or what is your intention here? I say... Uh, friend. Friend Zybilna. <laughs> okay. Zybilna friend. No, hold, hold out the potato. Okay. That's what you do. All right, great. Well, it doesn't attack you. It doesn't attack you. It starts chewing on the potato. Uh, oh. It quickly spits it out, though. Oh. Um, it flies out the window. It's a carnivore. <laughs> I zap the potato yeah. and make it taste like rat, and then give it back to it. <laughs> With prestidigitation? Okay. Yeah. Right, great. Yeah, it it goes to town on it. It seems upset. There's not bones, but that's great. Uh, okay. Is that? Do we go? Should I teleport? What are we doing? Uh, no, I think we can just fly out of here now. Oh, cool. I can save it for later. Okay. Well, I guess let's get going. Yeah. It's just it's just eaten. I give it a pat before we leave, and I, it obviously sees the open doors, I say, friends, I build now, and I pat it. Okay. Yeah, it flies out the window. Oh. Bye! I oh, love you! With us? Oh, they're coming with us? Oh. Cool! Oh, it wants more potatoes. Uh... Uh, I guess we land back where we were, and I give it some rations like and a plate for my rat. Eating place. <laughs> What's that? A balcony place to eat. It is. Yeah, it's a, a balcony cool. on the outside with just a bunch of tables set up with all the. the, the why can't I think of the word for cutlery? All right. Silver. Silverware. I guess, yeah, silverware and cutlery was the word I was looking for, but yeah, silverware. Oh, that's a big owl. Yeah, <laughs> See yeah, it is. Of it? And you guys come in here, and it comes around, it's perched on this thing, it's like dipped down, looking through the doors at you guys. I take, I take out a ration, and I flavor it like rat again, and I say, here, friends I build now. <laughs> yeah, it starts going to town on it. It starts just eating it, chewing it up. 
Well, where... Uh... Where do we want to be heading off? Um, where do we want to be heading off to now? Well, I don't know. We want the... We want Bloody Beak to scare the Chumba Wumba away from the ballroom. Oh, well... How do we, uh... We probably want it to see the Chumba Wumba then. How do we make the Chumba Wumba come out? I could lead bloody beak into the ballroom but I'd need to know how to how the Chumbawamba gets in there I, I, did it is it open at the top it's gotta it's be gone. if the Chumbawamba flies in hey butler person yes I was about to binnings mm, indeed what can I do for you how <laughs> here's bloody beak so casual uh, you know a lot of crazy stuff is going around here she used to date a demon lord. Oh. Oh. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm just used to cute? crazy things. He was okay. How does um the Chumbawamba enter the ballroom? Because I'm going to leave Bloody Beak in there. Well, he's... She's broken through the wall in the pool on the opposite side. The caddy corner of where we're at now. The northwest corner. It's broken northwest. through the walls. How close are we to the ballroom on this side? Two, two rooms upwards. Oh, wait. The ballroom, not the dining room. Um, the, the ballroom is directly north of the Court of Storm. And actually, you guys are looking out this window to the left. There's a couple doors that go to a balcony. But below it is this, like, churning storm that's constant. That just disappears into nothingness below the balcony. And in the center, there seems to be, like, a, a stairway that leads up from each corner that holds this center tower together with a few different spires around it. So what's our goal here? It's to put the unicorn horn in the pot. No, it was to unfreeze Zabilna, right? And do we know where... Oh, I remember in the first session when we got the special information from those carousel horses, when we scried on Zabilna, they said that they were, she was frozen in the ballroom, right? It sounds like it's true. Well, Thinning yeah. told us that she's frozen in the ballroom. Or the... Yeah, oh, okay. Oh. Ah, uh, well, we found that out first session, so... Oh. Very. But the cauldron... Admirable. Yeah, the, the, the cauldron is, uh... Necessary to unfreeze her. Wait, how? Because we only need to know Zabilna's name to unfreeze her with the unicorn. I think if we use the cauldron, we can unfreeze everybody all at once. Or Zabilna can probably... The witches, the hags wanted to use the cauldron to fuck up everyone's something to do with the unicorn horn, but I think all we had to do was just unfreeze Zabilna and she would take care of things, wouldn't we? Oh, uh, well, yeah, sure. Yeah, we were just trying to unfreeze her, right? Because yeah. then I, she might fix everything. Okay. So realistically, if I, if I detached from you guys and took the eagle... Or through she's the hole. The real, you know, evil of the entire campaign, and we have to fight her. But you know, that's. Well, we we've got nothing to indicate that, though, do we? Not so I mean, far. Other no. than that, she's Tasha. You know. <laughs> I don't get why is, it's why is Tasha here. It's so random. Um, but I don't think that they'd want players to uh, like kill Tasha. Like she she's. Basically, mm. their baby, like That's product kind of placement. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's true. But that's so do we? <laughs> do we just try and like yolo it? I mean, we have like pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. Do you get the yeah. butler to lead you guys to the ballroom? I mean, you guys will probably be able to hear when the Chumbawamba leaves or whatever. Come. I mean, I could. Essence, can you still do that? hair thing where you can communicate with me or see through me 
with that. Yeah, I could. So we could, I could talk with you. Wait, can I talk with you doing that or? Uh, no. You can see what I'm up to, right? Right. And here. So, so I technically could hear you, but you can't talk to me. Okay. So if I take some hair, at least we got some communication. Try and lead this bird through while you guys make your way just outside the ballroom. And then see if we can run in there and unfreeze Zobilna. I don't know if this is like ruining Alex's campaign, but it seems like we have the pieces to the puzzle. It's your campaign too. I say we see if the butler... Yeah, let's let's do that. So um, we should plan a trigger action if we're going to use the hair to communicate. So I would say when you get the owl to the... Uh, Jumba Wamba is when we should try and enter the ballroom at the same time, right? Yeah. I don't see why not. And then all, all the border's got to do is run up and go Zabilna and touch her with the horn, I think. Well, no, Zabilna is not her. I oh. use Zabilna because I thought that'd be what the owl would recognize. Bloody beast. It's Tasha. Her name's Tasha. <sighs> yeah. And I... I don't... I... What's wrong? Are you having, like, second thoughts? No, 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 no. I think Tasha's a nickname, and her real name is Natasha, like, Black Widow. <laughs> Wait, is this, like, meta, or is this something we know? I'm meta. Meta. Oh, uh, okay. I don't... I don't know. I, I feel like... Maybe because I already know it, I feel like it's a normal leap to make. But um, like Tasha's a nickname. Does anyone have a real name, up. Tasha? I think someone. I'm not confirming or denying what you're saying, but I think to assume Natasha from Tasha could be made, not yeah. meta style. Yeah, I mean, maybe because I know it already, then oh. I like. Maybe it because seems her obvious to me, but like Tasha's a nickname. Well, her butler's in the room with us. Hmm. Hey guys, I hate to interrupt, but I do have to you go. Gotta go. I know we're right at the end. I need that. Um, yeah. Well, let's just wrap it up here, and we'll finish this talk next time. Yeah. Stay in the pool. We're in a good spot. Hopefully, right, cool. I'm better I'm... by next week. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Is your fever gone? Um, uh, you know, it was only a hundred this morning, so um, dude, I was one oh five Sunday night. It was well, right. It's better than it was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, that's but yeah. like hospital temperature. Yeah, my my parents, my my dad, um was an EMT so he's always like we didn't take care of all of this all on our own so and it would be like 105 104 and then he'd give me medicine and it would go down to 102 100 mm -hmm. is just how every day has been wow. um and then when the medicine wore up it would go back up and we'd take it again and blah 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 so I've been living in a perpetual state of burning up Ooh. um but Today it was only 100 when I woke up. Yesterday it was 104 and then came down to 100 with meds. Uh, so um, I should be should be better. <laughs> um, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. And I just need um, this congestion to go away so that my throat can get better. <laughs> For sure. But thank you for the session. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah thank, thank you. you. Guys. Well, it was awesome. Looking forward to the last session. Next session. Last session? 